American Comics, Create the Man in Black, Start Interviewing the Three-Body Problem Author, Vice, Synopsis, Travel Across the World of American Comics and Become the Leader of the Men in Black. What is the Men in Black? All third contacts that do not belong to humans are the responsibility of the Men in Black. Aliens, other world visitors, even gods. At the beginning of the game, I received a diplomatic request from Trisolaris, Earth, and aggressively interviewed the Trisolarans. Your blockade of Earth technology has seriously affected the rights and interests of multi-universe human beings. Apologize and compensate. Shield Director, brother, you make me look superfluous. Kin Yun, anyway, your agents have almost been dug out by me. By the way, a purple potato monster named Thanos is coming to Earth in a few days. His spaceship is a bit big, remember to ask him for the parking fee if you don't want to. Dot. As the organization grew stronger, Kinyun found that he was already the most powerful existence in the multi-universe. Chapter 1 System Activation Organization In an old video store, Kinyun sat at the bar, watching the news searched on the computer. The whole person has not recovered. In the news, it's full of Captain America, Iron Man, Battle of New York, stuff like that. Without a doubt, this is Marvel. Damn meow, why did you travel to this ghostly place? After figuring out her situation, Kinyun didn't know whether to laugh or cry for a while. In this world, he is the owner of an old video store, the kind that inherits relatives' family business without father or mother. It is a pity that with the development of the times, CD cassettes have begun to be gradually eliminated. Not to mention the business, it can only be said to be barely maintained. It's just that it's all good. The key point is that this broken world is too dangerous. Not to mention the little Superman with various genetic mutations and black technology. After Thanos snaps his fingers in a few years, the entire universe will lose half of its population, and no one knows whether they are the 50%. The host has detected a strong desire to survive, and the system has been activated. Please choose. 1. The boss behind the scenes, become the head of the mysterious organization, hide behind the scenes, and control everything. 2. Unlimited evolution, can absorb other people's special abilities to open unlimited evolution, strengthen yourself, and be invincible in the world. In my mind, a multiple choice question appeared. Kinyun reacted quickly. Goldfinger, crap. I'll just say it. How could time travel not give Goldfinger? At this moment, Kinyun felt as if he was alive again. Two choices, two directions. It's hard to choose. The two system directions are obviously two different development directions. The boss behind the scenes can let him lie down comfortably and direct others to work. Infinity evolution seems to be even more powerful. According to the appearance of so many superpowers in the Marvel world, sooner or later I will become an unimaginably powerful existence. After thinking for a long time, Kinyun asked tentatively, System, do you think it is possible? that is, I want both, children only make choices, I want them all, dot. At this moment, the system fell silent, it seems that he didn't expect that someone could be so greedy, but Kinyan really doesn't want to give up both options, infinity evolution system, can absorb other people's ability to make himself infinitely stronger, dot dot dot, but he must be a weak chicken at the beginning, if there are countless subordinates helping him to work, wouldn't he just need to lie down to become stronger? Choosing the two together is the kingly way. The atmosphere was extremely awkward for a while. Just when Kinyan thought that he was too demanding and the system went down. Congratulations to the selection of the host. Get novice gift package X2. It's done. Hearing the system prompt, Kinyan was overjoyed. It never occurred to him that he could choose both. Two novice gift packs. Open the gift bag. Open open open. Exclamation mark. Newbie gift pack X2 has been opened. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained the status of leader of the men in black organization. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained an infinity evolution system. The current organizational structure is as follows. Men in black organization. Architecture. Headquarters. A video store has been bound. A total of three basement floors. A dimensional shuttle door. Allowing multi-universe connection. Including but not limited to the current series of universes. Including the world outside the wall. One airport. Which can dock 50 small spaceships below sea type one medium-sized spaceship below sea type, and large spaceships cannot be docked. Personnel, Scientific Research and Technology Department, Personnel X-200, Sweeping Special Service Department, Personnel X-1000, Security Department, Personnel X-500, Agent Department, Personnel X-0, Vehicle, Special Equipment Vehicle X-20, Combat Special Service Vehicle X-20, C-Class Small Carrier Spaceship X-5, C-Class Small Combat Spaceship X-5, the introduction of the system confused Kin Yun for a while. In addition to the things that the various organizations have, there are a few pieces of information that Kin Yun is particularly concerned about. Men in Black Organization Purpose, a community with a shared future for mankind, communication and connection includes all human civilizations in the universe, and is responsible for any third series of contact events other than human species, including but not limited to, aliens, other world visitors, gods, demons, etc. Good guy! Exclamation mark. 
Qin Yan almost took a breath when he saw it. I originally thought that the organization of the system is similar to an ordinary company, but I didn't expect it to be so big when it came up. Connect multi-universe, close contacts of the third kind. Just when Qin Yan was still thinking wildly, preparing to study the second infinity evolution function carefully, pushing open the door of the video store, a big man in a black suit walked in. Looking unusually burly, it is obvious that he is not a simple person. He walked towards Qin Yan in a daze. He opened his mouth and said enthusiastically, Boss, the recruiter has arrived. Do you want to check it yourself, recruitment? Qin Yan glanced at the system information. A daily optional task hangs high at the top. Current daily tasks, recruit the first agent belonging to the men in black. Completion reward, small pistol. The daily task is to refresh one thing that can be done immediately every day. There is a reward for completing it, and it has no effect if it is not completed, but the reward cannot be obtained. It turns out that agents need to be recruited in reality. The system gift package only provides the basic framework of the organization. There are only three ways to grow and develop. One is to complete daily tasks and get rewards. The second is to obtain diplomatic currency through the third type of contact and exchange it for what you need in the system. The third is through actual recruitment or self-development. Organization members are also divided into many types. Most of the personnel can be exchanged with the system, such as ordinary secret service, logistics, technical personnel and so on. However, the most important of them, the agent, needs to be recruited by itself. Agent is the core position of the men in black organization. They are also the main personnel who deal with various third type incidents, and the others can only be regarded as aftermath. Well, I'll check it out myself. Knowing the importance of the agent position, Qin Yan felt that it was necessary for him to personally control the recruitment this time. After all, the agent is the main staff for the future. Seeing Qin Yan get up, the man in black hurriedly led the way. He pushed open the small door at the back and entered a utility room. It is said to be a utility room, but it is actually a few rows of shelves, and some old DV players are placed on the shelves. He put his hand on one of the dividers with ease, and then twisted it. A certain mechanism was activated and the shelves were separated instantly, and what came into view was a hidden elevator. Good guy, is this bound to the video store? The entrance is tied to my door. It can only be said that it is a system. In Kin Yan's memory, there is no such cool mechanism in the utility room of the video store. Kin Yan walked in expectantly for a while. Chapter 2 Black Widow's first job as an agent. The elevator is going down, going fast. But Kin Yan didn't feel weightless at all. According to the introduction of the system, the headquarters of the man in black is 300 meters underground and can even withstand the impact of a nuclear bomb head-on, for a distance of 300 meters. The elevator only took about 10 seconds. It seems that this elevator also has some kind of black technology in it. 10 seconds later, it suddenly became clear. What called the I was a pure white hall full of technology. Is this my territory? There were people coming and going in the hall, men and women, all wearing pure black suits, busy with their own affairs. For a moment, Kin Yun even felt a little emotional. But in order to maintain his boss personality, he pretended to be extremely calm on the surface. Agent recruitment is in meeting room number 6. Does the boss need me to take you there? The staff leading the way were very dedicated, making Kin Yun nod involuntarily. Okay, in meeting room number 6, there are already more than a dozen people waiting to be arranged. At the door, seeing Kin Yun coming, a tall woman quickly handed a stack of documents to Kin Yun. This is the information of this group of people. Kin Yun didn't talk nonsense, took the information and read it. The system has arranged everything very well. This organization that popped up out of nowhere seems to be doing pretty well, have their own perfect system. In addition to the employees given away by the system here, these recruiters to be selected are also elites transferred from all walks of life. Army, special departments, police, firefighters, military academy and more. Their resumes are very dazzling wherever they are placed. Now, she sits obediently inside and waits for Kin Yun's choice. However, when Kin Yun turned to one of the pages, he was stunned. Question mark what the heck? Black Widow subconsciously raised his head and glanced at the woman. This face is too familiar to him. Isn't she the woman in the movie before time travel? Question mark. As if sensing Kinyan's gaze, Black Widow raised his head and smiled shyly. Dot. Shytik, it's okay if you don't smile, but when you smile, I'm a bit of a king meow. I took a look at the information in the data. The name of Black Widow is Sasha, from CIA, a very good special agent. Hey guys, Natasha Romanoff is gone. Another false identity, right? Still from CIA? Does SHIELD like to use the identity of CIA so much? Kinyan pretended to be calm, but his heart was full of criticism. Undoubtedly, on the first day I activated Goldfinger, I was targeted by the biggest silly road ear organization on the Marvel Earth. SHIELD, a shitty bureau that claims to take care of everything. How can this be fixed? There will be no good end for those who are targeted by the corn egg. I also said that I secretly developed in a low key way and then shocked everyone. Why did you send me a Natasha Romanoff on the first day? Wait. I really want to 
Don't panic too much, are we a serious organization? For a while, Kinyan thought a lot. If it comes, it will be safe, since Natasha Romanoff appears here, it means that the marinated egg also knows about his organization. Even if you can't run away dot 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 why? Just use the trick, you know, Natasha Romanoff is the ultimate hit worker. Not to mention anything else, there is absolutely nothing to say about her workability. His own men in black organization really need someone who can stand alone. Thinking of this, the way Kinyan looked at Natasha Romanoff again became different. Isn't this a gift from S.H.I.E.L.D.? Who is Natasha Romanoff? Kinyan's gaze made her aware of the enthusiasm in it. What's the situation? Could it be that he found something wrong with me? At this moment, Natasha Romanoff put away her playful thoughts and started to get serious. In her opinion, investigating a small organization that came out of nowhere is for a Black Widow agent who has experienced many battles. It should be just a simple little task. There is a reason why she is here. Early this morning, Various places received a recruitment notice. Somewhere strangely called the 6th District, invitations were sent to military academies, the police, and even various secret departments. Need to recruit some top agents. Not even SHIELD received a job offer. The weirdest thing is that there is no such so called 6th District in the archives of any department, or even in the database of SHIELD. The 6th District that issued the invitation does not exist in any paper records. This is unacceptable for SHIELD who want to control all the secrets. Because in SHIELD's view, only they are special, how can there be things that are not under their control on the earth? In this regard, the current director of SHIELD, Ludan, expressed great importance. Their race undercover agent was dispatched immediately. That is, Natasha Romanoff personally came on stage to investigate the ins and outs of this organization. Originally, Natasha Romanoff didn't take it seriously. As a level 9 agent of SHIELD, she has seen too many storms. But when she came to the headquarters of the man in black according to the recruitment letter, she also began to gradually realize that something was wrong. First of all, everything here looks too technologically advanced. Whether it was the elevator she took when she got down, or the equipment that was extremely technological and unrecognizable when she passed the lobby. Or this place. Can you imagine? This huge headquarters of men in black is located in the downtown area closest to the city center. Someone dug such a huge base in the middle of the city, and the SHIELD didn't know anything about it. The most outrageous thing is that the base of the men in black is less than 5 kilometers away from the headquarters of SHIELD. It's almost a door-to-door -door situation. Why didn't I know there was such a big mysterious organization next door to my house? Exclamation mark. Plus Kinyan looked at him with strange eyes. Natasha Romanoff even had a thrill. She thinks she might be on the verge of a big fish. Could it be Hydra? There are some bad rumors in the bureau recently. Hydra is not dead yet. Maybe there are still leftovers? Is it right here? While thinking, Kinyan silently closed the document in his hand, pointing to two people. You, and you and I come. The others stay here. One of the two people Kinyan pointed to was Natasha Romanoff. The other was a black guy in hip-hop style. This black Kinyan also looked familiar, a bit like Will Smith. Kinyan was a little uncertain. But now was the time for employment, and the resumes of black police officers were not bad in all aspects. Kinyan decided to put the organization into operation first. Congratulations to the host, you have completed the recruitment task. Reward obtained, small pistol, already placed in the system space. The daily task has been refreshed, activate the dimensional gate and complete the diplomacy in another world. Reward, T-1000 Liquid Robot X-10. Chapter 3 Everyone is going to be stupid. Small pistol. The system rewarded Kinyan and didn't care. We are all the leaders of the mysterious organization. A small pistol is optional. He just silently walked Natasha Romanoff and the black man down the hall. Hey bro, can you tell me what happened? Where are we going? The blacks seem to be more active, walking around and chatting up. Kinyan smiled and said, you have been admitted, I will bring you into the job. Hearing this, the black man seemed a little unbelievable, pointing at himself and said, me? I was admitted. Wait. I don't even know what I'm here for. How did I get admitted? What the hell is this place? You should at least tell us what we're going to do. The black man looked a little confused. One second he was just an ordinary urban policeman, and the next second he changed his job. He didn't even know what the job was for. There were so many people there just now, and what kind of soldier king is there? Why did you choose me? Kinyan didn't answer in detail, because he was also secretly looking at the organization introduction in the system interface. He just smiled mysteriously. You will know. Hurry up and finish the entry process. We still have a lot of things to do. From today onwards, you will no longer exist in this world. You have no names, no friends, no social connections, and the past will only be in memory. Everything about you will only become a code name. Agent, Agent. In a hall, Natasha Romanoff and Jay put their hands on a big round ball. Accompanied by the staff's narration, the unknown instrument started to operate. What? A strong burning sensation came and even Natasha Romanoff subconsciously let go of her hand. Looking down, her fingerprints seemed to have changed, but this was nothing new to her, she just clenched her fist silently. Pain, on the side, 
agent kept shaking his hands. However, what happened next left Natasha Romanoff stunned. A screen projection appeared in front of her. On the projection, it turned out to be all the information about her. It's not the fake CIA profile, it's the real her! Exclamation mark. SHIE LD Level 9 Agent Black Widow Natasha Romanoff At this moment, she had the illusion that everything was stripped away. You, Black Widow's nerves tensed up. She still underestimated the ability of this organization. It even has her information. You must know that no more than three people can see her personal information even in SHIELD. Her eyes began to scan everything here, ready to fight violently at any time. However, that's all. Because, she found that the staff around her were all calm. It just silently deletes the information that appears on the screen. Everything about you will be a thing of the past, and from now on, you will only have one name. The Man in Black. Agent. Dot. Meanwhile, SHIELD headquarters. The remaining eye of the marinated egg suddenly felt its eyelids twitch wildly. What's the situation? Is something going to happen again? For his intuition, Braised Dan has always had strong confidence. Thinking of arranging Natasha Romanoff to visit the mysterious organization that suddenly appeared in the morning. Could something happen to Natasha Romanoff? While he was thinking, Suddenly his watch started to vibrate crazily. Director, our database has been hacked. Someone is deleting our data. Hearing this, Potato couldn't sit still anymore. Is this okay? SHIELD profile curry has countless secrets. Activate special control authority. Security code T9113412. Braised Egg quickly connected to his own control background. I saw a piece of information suddenly appear on the computer screen. Data is disappearing at a speed visible to the naked eye. It was as if they were being deleted word by word. This is Natasha Romanoff personal information. The information of the ninth level agent is almost the highest level of confidentiality. How could it be hacked? Braised Egg hurriedly manipulated the computer, trying to regain control. But he found that even if he held the highest level permission code, he couldn't stop the other party's operation. What the hell? Is our security system already this weak? The marinated egg's face was ashen. No, Natasha Romanoff is in danger. Quick, locate Natasha Romanoff. Think of Natasha Romanoff just going out in the morning and the character database of SHIELD was emptied at night. He couldn't help worrying about his subordinates. Positioning failed. No such person found. The marinated egg was dumbfounded, only to find out that everything about Natasha Romanoff had been deleted from SHIELD's database in such a short period of time. Where is the last location? There is no such person. Dot. At this moment, Braised Egg panicked, hastily retrieved the copy that was copied after receiving the invitation letter from the mysterious organization, but, Ludan was surprised to find that even on the paper copy, all the fonts had been erased by an unknown force. Question mark how is this possible? Braised Egg's complexion changed. He quickly opened his safe. There are many classified documents, including records related to Natasha Romanoff. However, when he opened the file cabinet, he found that even everything about Natasha Romanoff in his treasured files had disappeared! Exclamation mark. It was as if a pair of invisible hands had erased all records related to Natasha Romanoff in this world. Exists only in memory. What happened? Come here. Does anyone still remember the invitation letter I received this morning? I need the address. The marinated egg started to growl. Everything that happened just now was beyond his comprehension. Dot. Natasha Romanoff at the men in black headquarters didn't know much about SHIELD. She didn't know that everything she had in SHIELD was gone. After changing into a neat suit, she was also told what the specific job of the recruitment she participated in was. No, boss, after doing so much, you have to tell us what the job is. I'm still confused. Even after putting on his clothes, Agent was still a little confused about the situation. When he saw Kinyan again, he hurried forward to ask. At this moment, Kinyan has also secretly read all the introductions related to the organization of the system. To Agent J's question, he just replied calmly, We are the men in black, a community of shared future for mankind, communication and connection encompassing all human civilizations in the universe, responsible for any third series of contact events other than human species, including but not limited to, aliens, visitors from other world, gods, demons, etc. Dot. Chapter 4 Kiraita? That's just rubbish. WTFK? Hearing such a lofty declaration, Agent was stunned. Aliens? Demons? Other world? The huge amounts of information seemed to overwhelm his not so intelligent head. However, after only a little shock, he started to get excited. Isn't this too cool? Is our job so awesome? If it were a normal world, perhaps what Kin Yun said might make others think he is crazy. Unfortunately, this is Marvel. Especially the Kiraita invasion happened some time ago. There is also the fact that Thor in Avengers is a human mythological character. People already have a certain acceptance of this kind of weirdness. Thinking of how cool his future job would be, Agent, who was originally an ordinary policeman, became a little excited. Similarly, Natasha Romanoff on the side was a little surprised. Originally, she thought that this mysterious organization might be a private armed force established by a strange high-level government or some remnant of Hydra. Now it seems, 
just a bunch of whimsical lunatics, you know, although the existence of aliens is no secret. That's not what people say they can get in touch with. In this line, their SHIELD is the most professional. When the Kiritus invaded the Earth, SHIELD was the main combat force, and finally Iron Man, a member of the Avengers, saved the world himself. Not to mention there is also a legitimate alien in Avengers, Thor from Asgard. Suddenly, a silly Rodier organization popped up and claimed to be responsible for all third type contact matters. Natasha Romanoff, who was born as SHIELD, even wanted to laugh a little. Subconsciously mocked, you said, the men in black control all contacts of the third kind? Where were we at the time of the Battle of New York? Natasha Romanoff can be sure that there is absolutely no third party organization present during the Battle of New York. You mean the Cirrus? They don't even rank in the multi universe and contacting them is too cheap. What we are facing is a deeper threat. There are more places to protect the Earth than you can imagine. As soon as Kinyan heard Natasha Romanoff's words, she guessed what she was thinking. When Kiraito invaded the Earth, he hadn't crossed yet. However, it is true that Kinyan looks down on those so-called aliens. Anyway, it is also a civilization that can sail across the stars, so the combat power is really that weak. In the end, being able to destroy a nuclear bomb regiment is really hip. Not to mention that Kin Yun wasn't there at the time, even if he really had traveled here long ago. You have to ask Chi Ruita for some garbage cleaning fees. Just sending out a C-Class combat spaceship feels like enough to wipe them out. You know, in the big gift package of the system, five warships were given away. The system's so-called C-Class battleship is a real space battleship. Kin Yun has the confidence to say these words after carefully studying the parameters of that battleship. C-Class small combat spaceship. Length. 30 meters wide and 12 meters. C-type small deflector shield, power 12 trillion. C-type antimatter reactor, power 30 megabytes. Weapon system, plasma cannons, 2. Phase cannon, 2. Photon antimatter torpedoes, 12. Takeoff mass, 9,000 tons. Although the spaceship is small, the level is not high. But this is a proper starship. The power of the deflector shield alone can withstand hundreds of rounds of big Ivan bombing for days and nights. Not to mention 12 photon torpedoes, enough to blow through Kirita's battleship group a dozen times. This small ship may not be able to beat Thanos flagship holy place one, but it is really a trivial matter against Kirita. For Kinyan's self-confidence, Natasha Romanoff shrugged, but he decided in his heart that this broken organization must have been created by some brainless politician. SHIELD has seen a lot of politicians who want to contact aliens to get rich. To be honest, Natasha Romanoff is a bit down on it, but she didn't break it either. She wanted to see what kind of plane this little organization wanted. Boss. The dimensional gate is ready. Can be turned on. On the second basement floor, there is a huge amount of dimension gate. It is about 10 meters high, like a metal door frame. The staff has adjusted all parameters. Then Kinyan gave the order to open it. Kinyan nodded. I glanced at the system prompt. Opening the dimension gate will randomly communicate with all human civilizations in the multi-universe. Represents that the host is ready to face a higher level. Is it on? At this moment. Kinyan took a deep breath. The gate of dimension must be opened. This is also the capital of his life. Now he can't face the coming crisis directly, only from a different universe. Maybe he can get the power that makes him strong. Agent, Agent, get ready for our first visitors of the day. Agent seemed a little excited. This was his first job as the man in black. Natasha Romanoff was much calmer, but her muscles were already tensed. He stared directly at the gate of dimension. This thing is a bit similar to the portal that Loki opened in New York. People in this organization are connected with aliens through this. Natasha Romanoff is ready, if she finds out that something is wrong, like other aliens are going to invade the earth and so on. She will do her best to close this door too. The dimensional gate is connecting. The energy output is stable. With a report of the technical staff, a beam of light shot out from the ceiling, and rushed straight to the top of the dimension gate. Afterwards, the high-tech gate began to emit light blue light slowly. In the center of the gate, a pitch-black vortex began to emerge from the void, gradually spinning. Anyone who saw this picture for the first time was shocked by every second of it. It seems that the mystery at the center of the black hole is gradually revealed in everyone's eyes. Even Kinyan was shocked by the fantasy in it. Gorgeous. Just when everyone was immersed in this wonderful scene and couldn't extricate themselves, a hint pulls everyone back from it. Detected. Pass request from ST11113. Allow, allow. Kinyan's eyes also narrowed. The first contact with the world outside the door. Even Kinyan seemed a little nervous. At the same time, the security department has also secretly activated the self defense weapons in the hall. Once something is wrong, the intensive firepower will output all enemies in front of you. In this serious atmosphere, several men in spacesuits walked out slowly in the black streamer. Agent, Agent, we come alive. Chapter 5 I am the Space Force. Jang Bihai. Welcome this is the headquarters of the men in black in the sixth sector. When Kin Yun saw that the person walking out of the gate of dimension turned out to be a human being, he also seemed a little surprised. He had expected some weird alien, or something strange, to come out. Still, 
Humans seem to communicate better with several heavily armed security personnel. Natasha Romanoff and Agent Kinyan greeted him very warmly. Hello. The leader of the opponent turned out to be an Asian. Seeing the surrounding environment, he subconsciously took off his helmet. This spacesuit seems to be set up for some extreme conditions. Now it seems that it is not necessary. It is a great honor to communicate with you on behalf of the coalition government. I'm Jiang Bihai, political commissaire of the coalition government Space Force. As he spoke, Jiang Bihai stretched out his hand. Jiang Bihai? As soon as Kinyan heard the name, Kinyan subconsciously thought of someone, and the way he looked at Jiang Bihai became strange. No way, no way. Question mark. Could it be dot 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 the three body world? Kinyan didn't have time to think too much, so he quickly reached out to shake Jiang Bihai's hand and made a brief self-introduction. I am the head of the man in black division of the 6th sector, Kin Yun. The 6th sector? Jiang Bihai seemed to be a little curious about Kin Yun's claim, and looked at him with searching eyes. Kin Yun smiled slightly, and began to explain according to the information given to him by the system. The multi-universe is endless, and it is very difficult to differentiate. However, there is still a way to distinguish the location. We divide the universe into 36 sectors through the timeline, and the timeline of each sector changes slightly. For example, there may be many differences between our two worlds, but the error range of the timeline is probably within 100,000 years, so the two of us are actually in the same sector. Definitely there are some universes beyond the 36 sectors, that's another story. We don't have access to the universes beyond the 36 sectors for the time being, so don't think too much about it. Kinyan's explanation is not complicated, but it is shocking. Is the universe divided according to timelines? This pattern. It was beyond Jiang Bihai's imagination. Divide 36 blocks on the basis of 100,000 years. We are only the sixth sector. Doesn't it mean that in other universes, human beings can last for millions of years? Jiang Bihai only felt that this world had become a little too big, so big that even a small head couldn't fit it! Exclamation mark. Millions of years. Kin Yun laughed. According to the information given to him by the system, human beings are not just that simple. Don't talk about millions of years. Although human beings have risen from the beginning, they will encounter countless sufferings. Like dust in the universe. However, the human spirit is one of the most beautiful miracles in the universe. In some worlds, we stand side by side with gods as mortals. In some worlds, we continue for thousands of generations, even until the universe dies. Open up a new world. Living as gorgeous as summer flowers is the god in our bones. What we do with the most insignificant body is the most remarkable thing in the universe. Human beings are an indescribably huge group. I am proud to be human. Kinyan's words, every single word, hit the chests of everyone present like chicken blood. Being human. Am I proud? Jiang Bihai murmured to himself. This sentence seemed to be spoken in the depths of his soul. Yeah. Even though we encountered the three-body crisis, we still didn't choose to give up. Maybe, the human beings in other worlds are also like us? Survive? Or is it a continuation? Or, just simply want to leave traces of human existence? Tell the world that we have been here. At this moment, Jiang Bihai strengthened his heart. What he has to do is to let the universe know that human beings have been here before. So, what crisis did you encounter? Kin Yun asked tentatively. In fact, he already had the answer in his heart and he just wanted to confirm it. This matter is a long story. Then sit down and speak slowly. Three body people? Block technology? Invade the earth in 300 years. FK. These aliens are too arrogant. Following Jiang Bihai's narration, Agent Ji's blood surged from hearing it, and he wished he could pick up his submachine gun and give Trisolarans a run for their money. Kin Yun was expressionless, but he sighed inwardly. Really? Trisolarans? Big trouble. Originally thought that the system would give a simpler diplomatic case at the beginning of the game. But now it seems that this is a big trouble. Trisolaran's technology, with his five C-class small battleships, is completely invincible. Kin Yun has a headache. B, who pretended to go out by himself, is he going to pretend to be cowardly again now? When Kin Yun was thinking, Natasha Romanoff at the side seemed very calm. She still doesn't fully believe what she sees. I just feel dot 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 the imagination of these people is so bad. Are the fabricated aliens stretching their hips like this? Three body man? It takes 300 years to fly a distance of more than 10 light years. Doesn't it sound very powerful? After all, Natasha Romanoff has seen the big world. In his impression, the invasion that the Earth has encountered is more powerful than this so-called Trisolaran. Not to mention Bifrost in Asgard. Even Kirita's ship can span hundreds of light years in a few hours. It can only be said that these politicians know nothing about aliens. Listening to Natasha Romanoff's words, Kinyan shook his head silently. That's not the case. Although the speed of navigation represents the level of civilization to a certain extent. Dot dot dot, but it still depends on the rules of the universe. The universe we are in now is a universe created by God, created by the God of creation. The universe Jiang Bihai and the others live in is different. Their universe is one of the original universes. The rules of the Shenzhuang universe are more random. If you want to tear the space, warp the route, exceed the speed of light, etc., 
it depends entirely on the rule of the creation god to suppress the universe, so basically it is very simple for us to exceed the speed of light. The universe Jiang Bihai lives in is the original universe, and the basic laws of the universe are very strict. No object can travel faster than the speed of light. Qin Yun's words became serious. So, don't look at the Trisolarans who have to fly for more than 10 light years and 300 years. With their technology, a single probe can wipe out the entire Kiriter. What a joke. Qin Yun's words are extremely informative. It made Jiang Bihai completely confused. God created the universe? The original universe? God of creation? Exclamation mark in this world, is there really a God? Created a universe? Exclamation mark. Chapter 6 Where did Bihai's daughter come from? However, Jiang Bihai's heart was more worried about his own world. Well, Minister Qin, doesn't that mean that Trisolarans are also difficult for you to deal with? Jiang Bihai became anxious for a while. It took us 12 years to find the portal on Mars after we received the men in black speaking. Well, we thought we could get some help. Jiang Bihai sighed. Our world may only usher in destruction. It's a pity that we can't see how brilliant the human beings will be in the future. Qin Yun narrowed his eyes. According to this, the system has set up portals in all the heavens and worlds, but not on Earth, on Mars. This is a very good screening method, only the world with a certain strength can find this portal and connect with itself. After all, human civilization that can't even get out of the planet should be useless. Brother Bihai, don't worry. Seeing that Jiang Bihai was a bit decadent, Qin Yun quickly persuaded him. I just said that the two universes are different. I didn't say that Trisolarans are difficult to deal with. Qin Yun began to speak out loudly. No matter what, it's awesome to blow it out first. After all, it is the first human civilization connected to him, so the B position cannot be lost. After all, the Trisolarans have 300 years to go to the opposite world, and Qin Yun does not believe that he will not be able to find a way to deal with the Trisolarans in 300 years. Hearing Qin Yun's words, Jiang Bihai's eyes lit up. That's great. I can finally tell my daughter that our world is saved. I once promised her to grow old with her. At this moment, he stretched out his hand and quietly grabbed Qin Yun's arm, as if grasping some life-saving straw. Tears filled my eyes, I couldn't extricate myself. Excited. Ahem. Qin Yun only felt that the other party's enthusiasm was much more intense than expected. I was speechless for a while. Why is Jiang Bihai like this? It's completely different from the novel. Isn't Jiang Bihai in the novel the kind of existence that outsiders can never see emotions? Known as the fifth hidden wall facer. Dot 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 wait for it. Jiang Bihai. Has a daughter? Exclamation mark I do not know how. Qin Yun was startled, seeing Jiang Bihai blushing as if he had found a savior. He seemed to understand something. Jiang Bihai. This is Jiang Bihai. Even Jiang Bihai in his youth shouldn't be such an emotional person. And being able to pass through the dimension gate as a representative. This shows that even in another world, Jiang Bihai is an outstanding talent who has won the trust of the coalition government. Will a person who can conduct other world diplomacy on behalf of billions of people really be so emotional? Good guy. Unless he's pretending. At this moment, Qin Yun thought a lot. According to what he knew about Jiang Bihai, he was basically an old coin. Even if he killed someone one second before and the second after that. Thinking of Jiang Bihai's performance after crossing the gate of dimension until now, from the shock at the beginning, to bringing the topic to the three-body crisis they are facing, to the feeling of disappointment and despair just now. Proper appearance of vulnerable groups, all emotional performances are acting. Thinking of this, Qin Yun sighed, and silently pulled away Jiang Bihai's holding arm. Actually, brother Bihai, we don't need to hide it, from pretending to be stupid, to showing weakness, to various emotional performances, all of them explain one thing. The other party doesn't actually trust them. Whether it's for the organization of the men in black or for him. After all, the Earth in Trisolaran has experienced too many dark things. They think the worst of everything. After all, there is no love without reason in the world, and there is no hate without reason. Jiang Bihai was stunned when he heard Qin Yun's words. Then, she smiled slightly, and the panic and expressions of various emotions disappeared instantly. He knew that his disguise had been seen through by the other party. He stood up solemnly and bowed very seriously to Qin Yun. I'm very sorry. After all, it's an exchange of civilizations between two worlds. We're not being insincere, but we're being cautious. Seeing Jiang Bihai's attitude, Agent looked bewildered, completely unaware of what happened just now. Only Natasha Romanoff thought about it, and seemed to see something. Qin Yun got up quickly and helped Jiang Bihai up. I can understand. After all, the heart of defense is indispensable. However, as a community with a shared future for mankind, our men in black organization will always put the interests of mankind first. What the two of them said was cloudy and foggy, and Agent just felt his head was itchy, and he couldn't turn around. However, for those present, a lot of things actually happened and a lot of information was leaked. In fact, it is not difficult to understand. First of all, from Jiang Bihai's acting, it can be seen that the coalition government does not fully trust the things on the portal side. After all, a strange portal on Mars is said to be able to connect to the Earth in the parallel universe. Even people who have experienced too many storms should remain skeptical. After all, 
What if it was a conspiracy by the Trisolarans? Secondly, Dang Jiang Bihai really traveled to other places through this door. He still needs to confirm one thing, and that is the attitude of the other party. After all, if according to the news they got, the organization of men in black can really travel through the universe, which shows that their technical level has reached an unimaginable level. Definitely stronger than Trisolarans. After all, it takes a lot of effort for a Trisolaran to run more than 10 light years let alone travel through the universe, their scientists have actually determined it long ago. The black spot in the center of the portal is a small man-made black hole. In their cognition, if this is not a conspiracy by the Trisolarans, then it must be set up by a civilization higher than the Trisolarans. In the face of higher civilizations, it is very necessary to maintain a weak attitude. After all, the coalition government really wants to ask for help. But what can others picture them? You can only attract the other party's sympathy with the appearance of a weak person. This is also the diplomatic method discussed by the coalition government after careful consideration. Jiang Bihai didn't disappoint them either, he acted really well. If Qin Yun hadn't read the three-body problem novel before and knew that Jiang Bihai was not this kind of character, he would definitely be included in it. I can't wait to go out and help them immediately. Looking at such a big play, Natasha Romanoff just thinks dot 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 the acting is really good. The role playing of both parties almost brought themselves into it. She couldn't sit still anymore, she didn't want to continue acting with these people. Thinking of this, she slowly got up. Boss, leave this matter to me. Kin Yun? Chapter 7 My colleague is mentally retarded. Wait. The agent next to him was shocked when he saw Natasha Romanoff volunteering. He quickly pulled her back to the seat. This is something you can solve. Jay felt like his heart was about to jump out. The colleagues who joined the job with me feel that there is something wrong with their brains. See what they're talking about? Three alien fleets. Space war. Is this also a problem that your thin arms and legs can solve? At this moment, Agent G even looked at Natasha Romanoff with a little sympathy for caring for the mentally retarded. What should I do if my colleagues are too stupid? Wait online very urgent. Kin Yun was a little unresponsive to Natasha Romanoff's sudden performance. What is Natasha Romanoff up to? Do you have a sense of presence? It's not right. This is not the style of Black Widows, is it? Kin Yun glanced at Natasha Romanoff again. There seemed to be some disdain on her face. Maybe, she didn't really believe what happened just now. Thinking of this, Kin Yun suddenly narrowed his eyes. You do not believe? Do you think Trisolarans are rubbish? Very good. Very energetic. You should keep this spirit. This is the confidence that a man in black should have tilde. Agent it's all right. Our organization loves agents who volunteer and work hard. Although you have only joined the men in black, since Agent N wants to complete this job, the organization approves it. Let's do it. I'll leave this little matter to you. We have only one purpose, which is not to harm the interests of any community with a shared future for mankind. Kin Yun felt that Black Widow's sudden jump out was not without benefits. I am an ordinary person, that is, I have some prophetic memories. Faced with an old fritter like Jiang Bihai, especially for someone with a world behind him. He was afraid of showing his feet. Handing it over to Black Widow is different. Black Widow was originally an agent, and has experienced so many storms. Is he more experienced than himself? Thinking of this, Kin Yun has no hesitation either. He turned around and said to Jiang Bihai, This is our agent, codenamed N, and she will be in charge of diplomacy with your world from now on. When Jiang Bihai heard it, his eyes became extremely complicated. He didn't know what he was thinking but he still stretched out his hand very enthusiastically. It is our honor to communicate with Agent N. Dot. Back in his office, Kin Yun slumped on a chair. He let out a comfortable breath. Ha tilde good guy. A group of old fritters, talking to these bees is really tiring. In just half an hour, Kin Yun felt as if centuries had passed. Kin Yun originally thought that after getting the gold finger, what he had to do every day was to arrange various people to fight and kill. Now it seems that I may have misunderstood it. Diplomacy is likely to be most of the work to be experienced in the future. This is not easy to do. You must know that everyone who can participate in the communication is the most elite figure in other worlds. Ordinary people will not represent a world to establish diplomatic relations with men in black. Jiang Bihai, Black Widows, each of these bees is more thoughtful than the other. After all, that Agent J is a little bit sweeter tilde. While feeling emotional, Kin Yun also felt a sense of crisis in his heart. Trisolaran, three-body world is not a simple world. Three-body people are very strong, right? Very strong. But in their universe, Trisolarans are not even ranked. What singer civilization? What a zeroer. You know, the zeros are civilizations that can restart the universe! Exclamation mark How strong can this be? On Marvel's side, at least it must be at the level of a creator god, right? Even stronger is not sure. Kin Yun has no concept of things of this level for the time being. While Kin Yun was thinking, the system prompt also sounded as promised. Congratulations to the host. Completing the daily task. Reward. Liquid Metal Robot T1000 by 10. Sent to the system warehouse tilde. Daily task has been refreshed. Other world visitors request for help. In another universe, human beings have encountered the threat of Trisolarans. From the perspective of a community with a shared future for mankind, 
The other party has submitted an official call for help and needs your help. Accept the call for help. Help the other party solve the three-body crisis. Reward. A full set of quantum life backup devices. 10 T-1000 liquid robots. To be honest, Kinyan is quite satisfied with this reward. The fighting power of this thing is not low. But in the face of Trisolarans, Thanos, or Marvel's cheating villains, they may still be just younger brothers. Kinyan didn't look at it too much, and put it in the system space first. However, Kinyan couldn't help but sit up straight with a reward after refreshing the daily task. Quantum life backup device. Life originally has quantum properties, whether it is body or soul. This instrument can back up the quantum state characteristics of the living body. When the living body is destroyed, it can be converted into a quantum entangled state and reconstructed at the backup point. Kinyan looked at it for a long time, and his eyes became brighter and brighter. Good guy. Isn't this F King Angel's reincarnation pool? The principle of this instrument is well understood. It is to back up the state of a living body, such as if a person is about to die or is headshot. It will instantly convert the body and soul of the living body into a quantum state, and disappear from the original place according to the principle of quantum entanglement. Appear at the location of the instrument and finally print out the person in the same form as 3D printing. Nice one. This thing is really a good thing. Unlimited resurrection. Who does not like? However, the condition is to complete the request for help from the Trisolaran world. Kinyan got a headache again. Trisolaran. He really can't beat him now. He glanced at his other system, the second system that he had to choose from at the beginning. Unlimited evolution. Host. Kinyan. Combat power. 5. Ordinary adult male is 5. Currently evolved special abilities. None. Have to. Still nothing. Headache. Kinyan pinched his forehead, called an agent and asked, How's the situation over there now? How's Agent Ten talking with them? Hearing Kinyan ask this, the agent's expression suddenly became weird. Boss, the current situation is a bit complicated. Upon hearing this, Kinyan was stunned and looked at his watch. Just leave for 10 minutes by yourself? How did things start to get complicated? How complicated can it be? What did Agent Ten tell them? Isn't Natasha Romanoff an established agent? How can such a small thing be messed up? Can't it, boss? You should see for yourself. As he said that, the agent silently called up the monitoring of the conference room after Kinyan left. Chapter 8 My sister is a bit fierce. After Kinyan left, Natasha Romanoff took over diplomacy with the coalition government. Kinyan originally just wanted to be lazy and think about how to solve this problem, and he still maintained the B status of the men in black organization. However, what Kinyan didn't expect was that Natasha Romanoff was even more excellent than he imagined. In the conference room, Jang Bihai and Natasha Romanoff were sitting upright, both of them looked very formal. The agent John the side was a little nervous, and kept rubbing his palms. The atmosphere became tense for a while, as if feeling that it would be okay to continue to remain silent like this. Jang Bihai took the initiative to say, Agent N, we are going to formally submit a request for help to the men in black dot 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 to deal with the three body crisis that our world is facing. I don't know what process is needed here, or what price will be paid. In the world, there is no hatred for no reason, and there is no help for no reason. From the perspective of the coalition government, even if the forces that can cross the universe are under the slogan of a community with a shared future for mankind dot 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 then helping others also requires some price, right? If the threat of the Trisolaran can really be resolved with the help of the man in black. Jang Bihai doesn't know how much the coalition government is willing to pay, but he will do his best. Even if he sells the coalition government, he will bring reinforcements back. Because, he is the one who understands best that the human beings in the world of the United Government have absolutely no chance of winning against the Trisolarans. Don't worry, we are human beings. Your business is our business. Natasha Romanoff is full of righteous indignation. On behalf of the man in black, I accept your request for help. In this way, you go back and tell the Trisolarans that their behavior has seriously affected the rights and interests of our human beings. This is something our community of shared future for mankind cannot tolerate. Let them apologize and make compensation. Otherwise, we will take strong measures. At this moment, Natasha Romanoff looks domineering. It looks like it wants to call the shots for the disadvantaged. Jang Bihai listened with a dull expression on his face. R? Let the Trisolarans compensate. Apologize? This dot 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 is that all? Let's go back and talk hard. We have no confidence. Exclamation mark. Well, do you have any technologies that can support us first, or combat units can also? Jang Bihai always felt that what Natasha Romanoff said was a bit of a joke. If the Trisolarans are really just a simple threat and they will submit, they will not let human beings fight for so many years, and even continue to fall into war preparations for the next 300 years. Natasha Romanoff waved her hand. Don't worry, just go back and convey our request. The rest will be handled by our boss. By the way, Agent Jay can go back with you as our representative. Jay was originally sitting on the chair beside him as if he had nothing to do with himself. But when he heard this, he was instantly stunned. R? Wait, this matter has nothing to do with me. I can't. Why did it suddenly come to me? I'm just a harmless passerby. No, you can. Believe in yourself. 
your agent Jay. Natasha Romanoff looked at Jay with an encouraging face. This is the future of two worlds, as a member of the Men in Black. Only you can complete such a difficult task. On the other side of the door are the lives of billions of people. You have to stand up, Agent J. This world needs you. Natasha Romanoff's words seem to have a kind of magical power, making Jay's chest feel like a heat rushing straight to his brain. Billions of lives? The world needs me? That would be great. Jang Bihai also stood up. It is indeed a good thing that someone is willing to go back with them. After all, diplomacy is a long-term job, and there is no rush. Being able to bring one back also means that his trip was not in vain. The most important thing is, he feels that the people here are a little too smart, and Kenyan before was too, as if he could see through everything. This woman is not easy to get along with. According to his intuition, this woman definitely has a lot of thoughts hidden in her heart and has not been revealed. It's just this stupid black man who looks like a cliché. Bah, it's easier to communicate. Take it back and treat it well. Dot. In the office, looking at everything that happened on the monitor, Kenyan felt black. Good guy. Natasha Romanoff is really ignorant and fearless. Let Tris Olerin make an apology! Exclamation mark. The water droplets are really coming, and the whole earth has to wear it. Although Kenyan wants to accept the mission for help, it's not the way to do it. The future is long, sister. Looks like some thought work for Natasha Romanoff. Where's Agent N? Call her over. Agent J and the diplomats from Tris Olerin have gone back to the gate. Agent N said he should go out first if he has something to do. Gone. Kenyan was taken aback. Good guy. Did you run away? Do you need me to bring Agent Ten back? She seems to have gone to a place called the Land and Resources Logistics Security Bureau. S-H-I-E-L-D. Natasha Romanoff reporting back to S-H-I-E-L-D. Kinyan smiled slightly. Forget it, she will come back. Kinyan has no confidence in Natasha Romanoff's desire to come back, but he has confidence in braised eggs. With S.H.I.E.L.D. director's character, Natasha Romanoff has penetrated into our inside. How could it be possible to take people back so easily? This agent, I want to order. That is dot 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 J followed to the three body world at the other end of the dimensional gate. What should I do with this mess? Dot. These people are stupid, especially my partner. Leaving the men in black headquarters, Natasha Romanoff walked towards SHIELD without looking back. I just feel ridiculous in my heart. This small broken organization is good at acting, but his IQ is not good. Was the partner Jay arranged for him to monitor her? Or was she sent away easily? SHIELD is very close to the headquarters of the men in black. Just a few minutes away. Natasha Romanoff came to a secret entrance that she often entered. Gently put his face on the validator, and was ready to wait for the door to open. However, the accurate and fast character recognition on weekdays is extremely slow today. What's the situation? It's time for the FK login system to be updated. After identifying it several times in the row, it turned out that there was no such person. FK. FK. After trying several times in the row, they were all authentication errors, which made Natasha Romanoff feel a little bad, and his mouth was full of masfak. Just as he was about to change the entrance, the door opened. At a glance, Natasha Romanoff saw a familiar person, a bald one-eyed dragon tilde. Seeing Natasha Romanoff for the first time, Nick only felt tears in his eyes. Although it was only half a day apart, it seemed like a century had passed. You're back, director. Is it time to upgrade our system? I've been identifying him for a long time, but I can't find him. Hearing Natasha Romanoff's complaints, Nick fell silent. What is he going to say? You have been away for a long time and have been removed from our system. He wouldn't have known that Natasha Romanoff was back if he hadn't been reminded that the entrance to the safe house has been trying to get in. Chapter 9 The Non-Existent This matter. It's a long story. Dot. What do you mean? You mean I was removed from the system? Exclamation mark. S-H-I-E-L-D headquarters. Natasha Romanoff unbelievingly held a tablet and kept trying various logins. With her level 9 agent authority, most of SHIELD's databases and login interfaces can be accessed now, however, let alone a database. Even the terminal of the newly installed smart toilet some time ago can no longer be connected. Isn't this F king nonsense? When did our technical level become so hip? I think it is necessary for Tony to upgrade the system for us. Natasha Romanoff just felt bad because she couldn't even open her room in the headquarters at the moment. There is also her electric boyfriend in it. Isn't this a forced breakup? It was too painful. Nick's expression also turned serious. Actually, we have already verified it. This matter has nothing to do with the security of the internal system. We suspect that we have encountered an unknown attack. Maybe it is magic or something? Because, not only the information about you in the electronic system has disappeared, but also the physical medium. With that said, Nick took out a wallet. Natasha Romanoff could tell at a glance that this was her wallet that she put in her room. You came into my room? Natasha Romanoff's eyes narrowed suddenly. Ahem. Don't worry, we just want to confirm something. Your men. I didn't touch other personal items. Question mark. Natasha Romanoff rolled her eyes. Aren't you playing tricks on yourself? It doesn't matter. What matters is what's in the wallet. Dot dot dot. Look at it. Natasha Romanoff picked up the wallet, opened it, and frowned instantly. This, on the outside of the wallet, 
the place where the CIA certificate is often placed, all the photos and words belonging to him disappeared. Most people in SHIELD have a certificate belonging to CIA, which is convenient for dealing with things outside. Now it seems that everything on the certificate seems to have been erased by some mysterious thing. Not just this certificate, but everything about you, even if it was written on paper, engraved on a slate, and even the old records from decades ago. All disappeared. Natasha Romanoff, you have been wiped of all traces of your existence in this world, Nick said, pointing to his head. Except here, you now only exist in the memory of those who know you. Only then did Natasha Romanoff realize the seriousness of the matter. His expression also began to become unnatural. She suddenly remembered that when she joined the company before, they used a huge amount of circular instrument to change her fingerprints. For a senior agent like Natasha Romanoff, fingerprints are not important. SHIELD's character recognition also mostly relies on irises and genes. She didn't care at the time either. Now that I think about it, something doesn't seem right. I remembered, when I broke into their interior, there was an induction ceremony. Someone manipulated some instrument and said that I will not be me from now on. At this moment, Natasha Romanoff only felt terrified thinking about it. How could this little organization do such a thing? With a sullen face, Luden asked seriously, what happened during the half day you disappeared? I need you to report everything, without any mistakes. Natasha Romanoff nodded. At that time, I went to their base according to the address on the recruitment letter. Dot. As Natasha Romanoff narrated, the atmosphere between the two became more and more serious, because they found that, with little details revealed, the small broken organization that Natasha Romanoff always thought was founded by a politician seemed not as simple as Natasha Romanoff thought. First of all, their base is even bigger than ours, right next to our headquarters. Secondly, can they use unknown means to physically erase the traces of a person's existence? What kind of technology is this? Dimensional gates? Aliens? Contact of the third kind? Isn't this what our SHIELD is supposed to do? SHIELD formerly known as the Strategic Homeland Defense Attack and Logistics Agency. You can tell by the name. Their accusations abroad, attack, defend, and especially against abnormal phenomena. Now it seems that under their noses, there is an organization similar to them. And it's so close to them. The point is, they didn't know anything about it for so many years. What annoys Nick the most is that they have hired their own staff. Isn't this a tiger's mouth grabbing food? It is extremely unsafe for such an organization to exist in this world. Nick only felt a strong sense of crisis hit him. This organization is extraordinary. We don't know anything about them. I don't know what their purpose is. In case they have some ulterior purpose, or some evil organization. Nick is a very controlling person. He sees anything outside of his control as a threat. The men in black organization that popped up all of a sudden belong to this kind of thing, something he couldn't control. At first I just thought it was some kind of political organization. Natasha Romanoff also expressed her opinion. But now it seems that this organization of men in black is not as simple as we thought. There is definitely a big secret in it. It can erase the trace of a person's existence from the world. She doesn't believe that there is nothing. The point is, until now she doesn't know how the other party did it, and they seem to have visitors. A few people came today, saying that they are earthlings from another universe, who are facing alien invasion. Natasha Romanoff recounted what happened to Jang Bihai. This made Nick's frown deepen. Visitor from another universe? Is this for real? Natasha Romanoff shook her head, I don't know either. At first, Natasha Romanoff might have thought it was all about acting. After all, how could such nonsense happen? Visitors from other world, and they still come with diplomatic needs. It's too magical. Even if there is such a thing, you should contact them SHIELD, right? Now Natasha Romanoff is a bit unsure. What if it's true? This made her a little annoyed. Nick began to think, if they can delete your information, it means that they know your identity dot 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 but they didn't guard against you, and let you participate in their affairs. Confidence? Confidence? Or dot 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 they're targeting us, SHIELD. Nick's paranoia began to add drama to himself crazily again. He always felt that someone might be targeting him. Natasha Romanoff dot 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 I want you to keep watching. Since the other party has surfaced, sooner or later, I will be caught by the roots. SHIELD. Fear no threat. Chapter 10 Diplomacy Across Time and Space Ken Yun didn't know that a certain bald guy had already regarded his organization as a threat and was about to uproot it. Even if you know, you don't care. He is afraid of Trisolarans, but he is not afraid of the little trash SHIELD. At this moment, Ken Yun has fully devoted himself to the research of the system. I want to develop my own infinity evolution system well. There is only one person, who seems to be forgotten by most people. Agent J. O. F. K. I don't want it in my life again. Vomit Tilda, Three Body Universe, Mars Base. Agent J was holding a vomit bag, his chest throbbing. Next to him, Jang Bihai patted J on the back affectionately. It's good to get used to it. This is traveling through the universe. It's already surprising us to have such a reaction. Seeing J's unbearable performance, several people in Tonksing smiled. For the first time, there was a feeling that we were better than them. This is also true. J's physical fitness is not bad, 
and he is even said to be the top among the police, otherwise he would not have been issued a recruitment letter by the system. But there are specializations in the art industry. The teleportation of the Dimension Gate is not as friendly as expected, almost like the centrifuges that astronauts use in training. The feeling that the whole person is crumpled up and stuffed into a certain hole before being sprayed out is indeed not easy for ordinary people to accept. The reason why Jiang Bihai and the others acted so relaxed was because as a space force, they had all undergone strict astronaut training. Jay quickly adjusted his status under the leadership of Jiang Bihai. He walked towards a certain room. Cool. Is this Mars? When passing a certain transparent corridor, Jay clearly saw the scenery outside the window. It was an endless orange-red soil, empty but full of mystery. At first glance, there is a feeling of loneliness but familiarity. Seeing Jay being so excited about everything, Jiang Bihai narrowed his eyes. Definitely, this is the Mars of our world. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it's the first time I've left Earth. This feeling is so cool. Jay skipped and looked around, feeling like a child full of curiosity about the new world. Let me tell you. My childhood dream was actually to be an astronaut, but my academic performance didn't meet the standard, so I could barely become a policeman. Damn, if only I worked harder. Policeman? Astronaut. Jay's short two sentences revealed a lot of information. What he didn't know was that their every move at the Mars base was watched by someone in a conference room. There were hundreds of people present. All eyes were on him on the screen, analyzing every word he said. According to him, their world structure should be similar to ours before. Police. Astronauts. This detective J should be transferred from the police industry. It means that the men in black organization will also recruit members from ordinary people. The experts began to analyze and recorded everything on paper. This is their rough understanding of the men in black organization. Jiang Bihai was not idle, and continued to talk while walking. Oh, so you used to be a policeman? I originally wanted to be a policeman after I was a soldier. If it wasn't for the Trisolaran, maybe I should be a criminal policeman now? Jiang Bihai looked as if he was feeling emotional. But he drew closer to Jay in an invisible way. Upon hearing this, Jay laughed and patted Jiang Bihai's shoulder. What's the point of the police? Where is the excitement of dealing with aliens every day? Before I joined the job yesterday, I never thought I would have such an exciting job. I love this job so much. Traveling across the world. So cool. Hearing these words, Jiang Bihai only felt his face stiffen. Just joined yesterday! Exclamation mark. Good guy. Before yesterday, you were just a cop? The expert group was a little dumbfounded when they heard Jay's words. No way. Is this really a stunned young man? Is he still a newcomer to the men in black organization? It doesn't look like a veteran. It's such a serious matter to communicate with a new world. Why send a new person here? According to the understanding of the expert group, this is traveling through the universe and establishing diplomatic relations with the new world. What an event. They can't wait for the top executive of the coalition government to play in person. But the other party only sent a stunned young man. Guys, tell me, is there a possibility that... The men in black organization is actually quite busy, insufficient stuff. A sociologist offers his opinion. Possible. After a long time, an old man shook his head. I think there is a high probability that people don't care at all. Maybe, to the man in black, we are just a backwater in a remote mountainous area. According to the information brought back by Jiang Bihai and the others, the men in black divided the universe into sectors according to the timeline of 100,000 years. Such a huge range. As a sector. The men in black department is somewhat similar to the nation's capital. In their eyes, we may be just a small village. So it's understandable to send new people. The old man's words aroused the approval of others. Such an explanation may be more understandable. If that's the case, I don't know whether to be happy or worried. The old man sighed silently again. The people present understood what he meant. If in the eyes of others, they are just some back country. Maybe the other party will not attach too much importance to them. Getting help from each other may be more difficult than imagined. However, there are benefits to this as well. At least it shows that the other party's B-level is indeed not low. Maybe dealing with Trisolarans is really just sprinkling water? The coalition government that has harmed nearly 10 billion people has been compared to a poor country. Really? The old man's self-mockery silenced everyone. It's really embarrassing. They still have a long way to go. However, no matter what. The men in black organization is still one of our hopes against the Drisolarans. Establishing a good diplomatic relationship with the men in black is our next priority. Everyone, are you confident? At this moment, everyone straightened their backs at the same time. The determination of mankind to win, we have never wavered. Yes, otherwise, we wouldn't be here. From the first time I learned of the existence of the man in black 13 years ago, to now, who is present here has not been fighting for today's diplomacy for more than 10 years. Now. It's time for us to harvest. How can there be no confidence? People's eyes are full of firmness. Then, for humanity, for the sake of the earth, let us start across century. No, the ultimate diplomacy across time and space. Chapter 11 There is a God in their world. Jay didn't know that if he said a few words casually, hundreds of people would force them to read and understand. A few minutes later, he seemed to have exerted the unique ability of a black man to be a social terrorist, and he had already had a good chat with Jiang Bihai.
Jay always felt that Jang Bihai was like his long-lost brother, and he would have believed him if his skin color hadn't been a few shades worse. He can handle any topic. Therefore, it seems that Jay's chatterbox has been opened, and all kinds of words come out. There are organizations like the men in black in your world. Ordinary people must live in peace, right? I'm so envious. Before I became a man in black, I didn't even know there was such an organization as a man in black. To be honest, Jay didn't expect his role to change so quickly. In other words, the men in black are actually an organization that is not open to ordinary people in your world. Then will you hide any secrets about aliens from ordinary people? To this, Jay shook his head. To be reasonable, basically where we are, everyone from an 80-year-old man to a 3-year-old child basically knows the existence of aliens, right? Not long ago, aliens invaded the Earth. The Chai right to invasion of Earth is such a big deal. This kind of thing can't be suppressed anymore, so I just made it all public. On Earth in the main world. Basically most people already know about aliens. Everyone knows about aliens, but not about you. Jay's words seem to be a bit contradictory. Jang Bihai asked suspiciously, how was the alien invasion resolved? Isn't the purpose of you men in black to be responsible for this area? According to their little understanding of the men in black organization, the men in black should be mainly in charge of contact of the third kind, right? All the warships of the aliens have arrived on the earth. How do they keep it up without revealing themselves and solve the problem? Is there any special means? We didn't solve Kiraita. Right? According to the boss, Kiraita is too rubbish, no need for us to come forward. In the Battle of New York, Iron Man defeated the aliens. Oh yes, and the rest of the Avengers heroes. Avengers is a team of superheroes, including superheroes, Captain America... Iron Man and the gods of Asgard. The Avengers have built Nick into a star team with the reveal of the New York battle. Even someone like Jay who doesn't know anything can say 123. Superhero? Gods? Where do you have gods on Earth? Exclamation mark. Dot. In the expert group. People's expressions have changed several times, and everyone has begun to become confused. Because, Jay's seemingly casual chat revealed that the world on the other side of the dimension gate is far more complicated than they imagined. Super ability, League of Legends. Gods! Exclamation mark. We can roughly make a portrait of the opposite world now. First, their world is far more complicated than ours, and aliens seem to be everywhere in their world. Second, the Men in Black organization is a secret organization even on the opposite Earth and there is no public one. When the aliens are well known, the organization responsible for the third type of contact has not been made public, which shows that they may have a bigger crisis to deal with, or there is no need to hide it after aliens become normalized and popularized. Third, their world has gods, and they are well-known gods. When it comes to the third article, everyone was silent, because, for the three-body world, a place where materialism is rampant, the word God is just a joke to most people, or it is just a pure spiritual belief. No one would think that God really exists in this world. But dot 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 according to Jay, they really have gods. And in what squad of their heroes, the Avengers, guys? Do you think it is possible that it is someone very powerful? Because some achievements are myths? Someone said tentatively. In his understanding, the gods are just a worship of some incomprehensible things in the age of ignorance. Even in modern times, this kind of thing is normal, I think. Their so-called gods may really be gods in our traditional sense. The other person silently opened the video that Jang Bihai had brought back on the big screen. This is everything he has recorded since entering the dimension gate. Among them, Ken Yan's face is impressively in the picture. Listen, this is what the boss of the man in black said himself. He silently turned on his voice. Ken Yan's science popularization about the difference between the two universes is extremely clear. The three-body universe is the original universe. Our universe is a universe created by God created by the God of creation. A sentence, in people's ears, seems like every word, because, this kind of thing has too much impact on their three views. God created a universe? Is there really an existence that can create a universe out of thin air? How big is the universe? No one knows how big the universe is. With human understanding, even the solar system cannot be fully understood. Small planet, planet, fixed star, fixed star system, river galaxy, galaxy group, supercluster. Numerous divisions make each level scary. The Earth, for human beings is already astonishingly large, and it is impossible for a single person to explore the Earth in a lifetime. But in the solar system, the Sun occupies 99.8% of the mass, and the Earth is just a piece of dandruff from the Sun. But the entire solar system, in the Milky Way, is not even considered dandruff, it can only be regarded as a grain of sand in the desert. This scale, this file size, human beings are so small. However, you tell me now that the universe can also be created? Exclamation mark. What kind of existence does that have to be able to do it? Question mark. They scratched their heads and hollowed out their brains, but they couldn't even imagine what kind of concept this existence that can create the universe is. 
This is no longer a category that normal humans can understand. This is the realm of a real god. The minds of the experts who heard Kin Yun's words went blank. It's outrageous. If there is such an existence as the creator god who is willing to help us, Trisolarans are not a threat at all, right? Yeah, it's so exciting to think about it. God of creation. You said that if you asked him to create a barbacoa with the file size of the Milky Way, how many years would it take? Dot. What the hell? What are you talking about Gooba? Where did this person come from? How could there be someone like you in the expert group? I'm also an expert. I'm a May expert, and I specialize in analyzing the diet structure across the door. Dot 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 don't send this kind of expert next time. Drag it away. Chapter 12 Skilled his whole family before talking about things. Apostrophe what should I say? Just face the air. After a while of communication, Jay did not forget his purpose of coming here. That is to convey the meaning of the man in black to the Trisolaran. It's just that this way of communication makes Jay a little creepy, according to Jang Bihai and the others. Trisolarans transported something called a Sofen to the solar system very early on. The so-called Sofen is actually a monitoring device used by Trisolarans. The specific principle Jay listened to Jang Bihai and the others explain it for a long time but didn't figure it out. What is the two-dimensional expansion of a proton, etching circuits? and the like in dimension. This is simply a fantasy for Jay who has not learned advanced physics knowledge. But in order not to embarrass the organization, he could only keep nodding. However, now Jay understands a little bit. There is something like Ghost, which is monitoring the entire solar system 24 hours a day. Every move of human beings is under the supervision of Sophons, that is, Trisolarans. Therefore, if Jay wants to communicate with the Trisolaran, he just needs to find a place to exchange with the air. Isn't this really strange? You usually quarrel with Trisolarans like this. Are you cursing at the air? To be honest, knowing that Sofen is watching doesn't feel very good. Jay just felt a little itchy all over, constantly looking at everything around. Usually dot 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 we don't communicate with Trisolarans. Jang Bihai smiled wryly, although we know that the Trisolaran monitors everything. The Trisolaran has never responded to us directly. Only an anti-human rape organization on the Earth can get a response from the Trisolarans. This is a very sad thing. The enemy knows your every move, but they always treat you with an attitude of ignorance. The scary thing is not that the enemy is too strong but that you have never even been looked down upon by the enemy. Humans walking on the road, what would happen if they trampled an ant to death? No response. This is the worst reaction ever. In the eyes of Trisolarans, there is no difference between humans and ants. A rape organization? Jay seemed to grasp the point, and asked with some doubts. Dot 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 there is no way, human beings are inferior. When encountering enemies, there will indeed be some people who are weak in bones and will not choose to resist but worship the enemy as a god. Even if the enemy's goal is to kill his whole family, destroy his race. When Jiang Bihai talked about these things, there was even a hint of genuine anger. Although before that, he also firmly believed that it was difficult for human beings to fight Trisolarans, and they would definitely lose. But no matter what, he will not be a traitor. Even if he loses, he will use all his strength to do something meaningful, something for all mankind, for the continuation of mankind, even at the cost of his own life. Therefore, he looked down on those weak bones who knelt down and called daddy as soon as they heard the enemy was coming, and he even wanted to kill them quickly. Okay leading the way, there are indeed many such evil spirits in human beings. Jay nodded in agreement. Agent Jay, we're getting a little far away. Jang Bihai didn't want to continue this topic, and quickly reminded Jay that it's better to get things on the right track. Cough cough. Let me say something first. Jay made a fist with one hand and put it near his mouth and coughed twice, clearing his throat. Then looked around, on the side. Jang Bihai also watched all this seriously. In the meeting room, the expert group also held their breath, as if waiting for a certain moment. Their confrontation with the Trisolarans has been going on for many years. Moreover, the purpose of the Trisolarans is very clear. It is to come to the earth and destroy all human beings. The contradictions between the two sides are almost irreconcilable. However, even so, so far, they have not actually had a face-to-face -face meeting or conversation with the Trisolaran. All the knowledge about Trisolaran comes from science and intelligence means. There are actually two reasons why Trisolarans never respond to them. The first one is, as I said before, the concept of an enemy is only imposed by human beings. To Trisolarans, human beings are just ants. Trisolarans disdain to communicate with them. The second one is better understood, because Trisolarans dot 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 can't lie. That's right. The communication method of Trisolarans is more similar to brainwave communication. When they talk, they think, and when they think, they talk. The thinking of Trisolarans is completely transparent to human beings. Not communicating with humans, maybe because I don't want to reveal any key information in the chat, but dot 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 it's different this time. Jay is from another universe, from the men in black organization, although it seems like a rookie. But he represents one side after all. Whether he can attract the attention of the Trisolarans, and whether he can communicate with the Trisolarans, is very important to the Earth of the Trisolaran world. As long as the Trisolaran responds to Jay, that means one thing, Trisolarans feel threatened. In other words, 
The man in black was the one they had to respond to positively. The atmosphere became extremely oppressive for a while. Jay is also after a few breaths. Suddenly he yelled loudly. As soon as he opened his mouth, it was a set of fluent black serial ports. MTFK, you three body bastards. Your grandpa JK is here. On behalf of the men in black organization, I would like to extend my greetings to your entire family. Your technological blockade and threats to humans in this universe have seriously damaged the interests of the community of shared future for mankind in a multi-universe world. Now, immediately, I will apologize to your grandfather and compensate us. Otherwise, you will bear the consequences. Dot. At this moment, everyone was dumbfounded. They never expected that the agents sent by the men in black organization from another universe would be. So. Vulgar. Almost every sentence he said was mixed with various curses greeting other people's families, the kind that could only show stars when he typed. A. Is it really okay for him to talk like this? Do you want to persuade him to change his tone? After all, the expert team is all highly educated talents. Some people think, is it a bit unqualified for Jay to talk to Tris Olerans like this? I don't think it's anything. Soften monitors the whole world, how few people scold Tris Olerans every day. Since they choose to invade us, they must be prepared to be scolded. Besides, Jay is not one of us. He has his own power. Maybe the men in black handle the third type of contact in the same way. It's not easy for us to intervene. Hearing Jay insulting the Trisolerant so heartily. In fact, many people feel a little dark in their hearts. In these people's daily life, it is because they are too qualified, so they have been long been suffocating and have nowhere to vent their anger. It's just, soften, no, will Trisolerans really respond to him? Agent Jay swear words seem to echo in the air. But the response they were expecting from the Trisolerans did not appear for a long time. Chapter 13 Soften appears. The air seemed to suddenly become quiet. Jay shook his head and looked around. But I found that the words he said seemed to be just talking to the air. And it was indeed the case. Does this really work? It feels like nothing happened. Three body people can really see and hear what I'm saying. I feel like I'm a bit silly for talking like this. Agent J once again raised doubts about Soften's existence. We have verified the existence of Soften's in many ways. We have spent huge sums of money to do many high energy physics experiments in space, but they all failed under the interference or Soften's. We can be sure that Soften's monitor the entire solar system, and even a certain range outside the solar system. Jang Bihai gave an affirmative answer. Okay. But this son of a bitch Trisolaran is totally ignoring me. Is it because I scolded you too gently? Dot. Seeing that Jay seemed to be criticizing his words for being too gentle, even Jang Bihai fell silent. Good guy. It can only be said that you are worthy of being a black brother. The swear words that all the people present can utter may not be as dirty as you. Do you still dislike it? At this moment, Jay narrowed his eyes. He seems to be serious. Three body man of Guri. Can you hear me? Grandpa is talking to your grandchildren. What? You just pretend to be a grandson and don't dare to speak? Come on, let Grandpa see what your dogs can do. I, asterisk 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 asterisk. Next, everyone's jaws were stunned, because Agent J just stood there, facing the ceiling, spitting obscenities non-stop. A full half hour, exclamation mark. Not a word is repeated. This behavior can no longer be described in words. All I can say is, it's too f-king awesome. Until J was tired of cursing, had a dry cough and picked up water to moisten his throat. Forty minutes have passed. Hundreds of people just stared blankly at the ceiling where Jay scolded for forty minutes. However, even after all that has been said, the family tree of the Trisolarans is almost scolded to death. The air is still silent. The long-awaited response from the Trisolarans has yet to come. It wasn't until this time that Jang Bihai had the time to intervene. Agent Jay, forget it, rest, there is a possibility that the Trisolaran won't show up. Maybe we should think of something else. Hearing this suggestion, Jay also nodded. Okay. These bastards, when I go back and report, the boss must have a solution. Jang Bihai nodded quickly. He couldn't stand it anymore. He was afraid that if he listened for a while, he would be the mother of a Trisolaran in his dreams in the future. The fighting power of this black man is really a bit too terrifying. It is also reasonable to not get a response from the Trisolarans. Not surprising. For the coalition government, perhaps the next focus of work should be on communicating with the men in black organization? Okay, then I'll go back and report on my work. Jay is also a little tired of scolding and wants to go back. After all, this world is not his own world. The most important thing is, as a rookie, he is under a lot of pressure. It has only been half a day since he joined the job and was tricked by Natasha Romanoff when he accepted the task. The amount of information in this half day is too much. Even Jay with thick nerves has to digest and digest. Let's go. Come with high spirits and return with disappointment. Standing in front of the dimension gate. Jay's expression was a bit strange. It seems to be thinking of the discomfort of traveling through space when I first came here. This kind of unhappiness, coupled with the work of returning without success, made Jay feel a little unhappy again. FK, after I go back, I must task the boss to beat out the shit of Drisolaran. And then we need to set up a broadcasting system to play the three-body coward in a loop, 
so that the entire universe will know how cowardly these bastard aliens are. Definitely, this is just Jay's casual remark. In fact, everyone has long been used to his various insults, and they don't take it seriously. Just when Jay was about to grit his teeth and rush through the portal, suddenly, a woman's voice appeared in Jay's ear. Please wait. Dot. At this moment, the nerves of everyone in the base were tense to the extreme. Exclamation mark. Because it can be seen from the monitoring screen. The woman appeared next to Jay almost out of thin air. She was wearing a kimono, as if she was a Japanese dress. Who is she? Where did she appear? I don't know. There is no such person in the base. She appeared out of nowhere. Could it be? For a moment, everyone thought of one thing. Could it be Tomoko? It should be Soften. The other party seems to have no entity. It is a person projected by a special method. At this moment, countless experts and professors were all excited. This is the first time Soften has shown his face in the eyes of people other than those traitors in so many years. Moreover, it is still at an official location like the Mars base. Tomoko finally appeared. Why did Tomoko never appear in front of us for so long before, but now he appears? Is it because Jay is leaving? Or some other reason? Dot. Beyond the solar system, the Trisolaran galaxy. The senior managers of several Trisolarans gathered together, they looked at each other silently. All communication is being exchanged extremely quickly through thought signals. This is a very advanced means of communication. However, from the waveform of their thinking, it can be seen that their mood may not be so calm. What should we do now? In fact, the reason for Sofan's appearance is simpler than they imagined. It's all because of what Jay said at the end. He wants to spread the cowardly appearance of the Trisolarans into the universe loop. This is intolerable for Trisolarans. Because dot 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 the crux of the problem is that the civilizations of this universe are actually not in harmony. The three-body universe is full of dark jungle law. Once a civilization exposes its existence, it will definitely encounter a blow from a higher-level civilization. Originally, Trisolaran was planning to continue to observe, but now, Jay's erroneous remark made Trisolaran somewhat unable to sit still. The other party said they want to broadcast our civilization. Everyone, what's the situation with this portal? It's weird to say that when Sofen first arrived in the solar system, he scanned the entire solar system dot 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 according to the data at that time. This portal did not exist at that time. It suddenly appeared on Mars one day 13 years ago. Could it be some higher civilization? Not sure. Dot dot dot. Since discovering this portal, Sofen has been analyzing it for a long time, and he still doesn't know how it works. What other men in black organization? Across the universe, these are beyond the scope of our basic science can understand. Dot dot dot. So, now what do we do? Chapter 14 The boss must like sleeping with aliens. The conflict between human beings and Trisolarans has a source of power. It is said that desire is the original sin of all. The desire to survive is also a desire. Human beings want to live, Trisolarans also want to live. The Trisolarans planet has reached the point where they cannot survive, so they set their sights on humans. If you look at it carefully, it is nothing more than a civilization that is about to perish, but it has power that humans cannot control. Human beings are just ants in the eyes of Trisolarans. Trisolarans come to the earth, just like buying a new house, and human beings are just garbage residues on the earth. Before moving into a new house, clean up all these annoying garbage. But now, the ants suddenly became more and more out of control. The emergence of the portal, the passage connecting another universe, the mysterious organization of men in black. For the first time, Trisolarans felt huge amounts of crisis in humans. This sense of crisis drove them to choose to have a negotiation with humans, reptiles that they thought could be trampled to death at will. Dot. What the hell? Trisolarans want to see me? When Kinyan saw Jay again, he heard the good news brought to him by the new agent. Yes, boss. There is a girl named Tomoko who conveyed the meaning of Trisolaran to me. She said she wanted to talk to the person in charge of our men in black. After Sofen appeared, he didn't seem to say much. I just asked Jay to give a message to the high level of their organization, and I want to invite him to their universe to have a good chat and communicate with each other. Kinyan didn't speak for a while, but silently tapped the desk with his fingers. My heart is full of mother's criticism. Go to the opposite side of the door and sit down and chat face to face with Tomoko from Trisolaran. Isn't this JB nonsense? As for myself, a slag with only five fighting power, what if I bump into him? When I run over, Kinyan still cherishes his life very much. He would not do such a thing of rushing to the front line to die. So what did you say? Yes, Kinyan asked. Unexpectedly, Jay raised his head and patted his chest. How is it possible, boss? I know that boss must be very busy. Why do you need to do such a small matter yourself? I justly refused on the spot. Cough cough cough. As he spoke, Jay coughed twice and began to perform. I saw him put his hands in his pockets, looking very hanging and said to the air on the side, our boss is very busy and doesn't have time to spend so much with you three body trash. Now, I will give you a choice, apology and compensation. I'll give you three days to think about it. After three days, you Trisolarans will send a representative who can speak to us to apologize in person. When talking about these words, Jay looked full of momentum. It looks like a mafia gangster interviewing his younger brother. Kinyan almost recited it without a breath. Dot. 
Hold! Exclamation mark you dumbass! Exclamation mark! Really speechless! Exclamation mark! What does it mean to send a representative to apologize? Still have an appointment? Make an appointment with JB. If the Trisola and Deity really came, wouldn't they be wiped out by us? Exclamation mark. Boss, did I do it right? Did you show the aura of our men in black? At this moment, Jay is still asking for credit, as if he has done something to bring glory to the man in black. Waiting for Kinyan's compliment. His heart is still very happy at the moment. I didn't embarrass the organization. Ha ha ha. On the first day of work. The task was completed so perfectly. I'm such a genius. It is suitable to eat this bowl of rice. Jay seems to have started fantasizing that in the future he will be promoted and raise his salary and become an organization manager. Kinyan looked at Jay, the corners of his mouth twitching slightly. Even though I have a strong ability to accept, I don't know how to describe my current mood for a while. He closed his eyes silently and asked the system. System, the dimensional gate leading to the Trisolar and world. If I don't want anyone to pass through, can I temporarily close it? Yes. An application is required to pass through the dimensional gate, and all forms of intelligence need to be reviewed before passing the gate. That's good, what about Tomoko? Can you come here without an application? Similarly, softens are a type of intelligent body, and they cannot pass through the dimension gate without an application. The problem of the three-body man is obviously not that complicated. According to the normal plot, Liu Oji will also establish deterrence because Liu Oji has thoroughly understood the law of the Dark Forest. No matter how bad it is, he can use the same method to threaten the Trisolaran. But what did the two guy J do? He really started to grow green like Natasha Romanoff. Three days. How could it be possible to solve the Trisolaran in three days? What if the attitude of the other side is tough? He can't do anything. Then wouldn't the B status that the men in black organization had built up with great difficulty collapse? How can I cheat in the future? No, how can I contact other universes? Kinyan has already figured it out. After three days, if he still hasn't figured out what to do, he will temporarily close the dimension door of the three-body world. When the organization becomes stronger in the future, it will be said that it is a technical error or something. After all, it is normal for a device that travels through the universe to have some problems with such a large span, right? Anyway, the Trisolarans and the coalition government will take hundreds of years. Okay, you go down first. Kinyan waved his hand and asked Jay to leave with a look of disgust. This disappointed Jay who was eagerly waiting for his boss's praise, but seeing Kinyan's expression didn't look good. He didn't dare to be B so he could only turn around and leave. Maybe the boss is too tired recently? Why don't you take him to the red light district someday to relax? I used to want to go there when I was a policeman, but now that I'm not a policeman, I can go there to have fun, right? Jay, who has a thick nerve, actually started to think wildly. No, no, how could the boss like the red light district? He is the boss, a person of his level. May go to the red light district where aliens are. Yes, it must be like this. Thinking about it, Jay even got a little excited. I haven't done it with aliens yet. Will it be exciting? Wow, this job is really amazing. I must try it in the future. Dot. Kinyan didn't know that in Jay's mind at this moment. He had become an old ticketer who often went to the alien red light district. If he knew, he would definitely not be able to resist pulling out his gun and shooting Jay. Now, he is looking at his system frantically. Wanted to see if there was anything I could do to help him. Unknowingly, he turned to the system space. Oh, the rewards for the previous two daily tasks are still in the system space. Dot 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 take it out and have a look. Let me see the first dot 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 small pistol. Question mark you call this a small pistol? Exclamation mark. Chapter 15 you told me it was called a small pistol? Exclamation mark. Small pistol, also known as, fusion pulse fusion phase gun. Introduction, through special means, a late stage blue giant star is confined in the space chamber, and the fusion energy can be shot from the muscle perfectly with a power equal to all the energy emitted by the blue giant star every second tilde. Because the core uses a blue giant star, it only has the lowest fusion energy output, and the core is a blue giant star in the final stage, which will collapse in about 500,000 years, and the small pistol will be useless at that time. Evaluation, as an individual weapon, he is qualified, but with a service life of only 500,000 years. He has been criticized. This is a weapon that only the poor will use. Looking at the introduction about this gun, Kinyan was in a state of bewilderment. The mouth is big enough to eat an egg, and he is aiming at an ostrich egg. Looking down at the file size of the submachine gun in his hand, it is a small pistol with a very sci-fi feel. The gunshot is not long, it seems to be in line with its setting, pistol. On the top of the gun handle, there is a round transparent cover on the gun body. Inside the cover, there is a sphere that is constantly rotating and emitting light blue light. If it wasn't for reading the introduction, Kenyan would have thought it was just a colorful skin. But the introduction clearly tells what the sphere is. Blue superstar. What is a blue giant star? When a fixed star develops to the end stage, it will enter the giant star stage. There are two kinds of red giant star and blue giant star. This is fixed star old. It will burn all of its young blood at the last moment, 
expanding in size and increasing in brightness. The fusion reaction also began to become rapid. A blue giant star is a giant star that reacts more violently. You know, let alone a giant star, the volume of any smallest fixed star is hundreds of times larger than that of the Earth. Is such a huge celestial body confined in a transparent cover of fist file size? Exclamation mark. Can Yun's hand holding the gun even trembled a little? If this dew point is casual, the earth will be gone. The power of this thing, Kin Yun roughly calculated in his mind. The principle of this gun is very simple. It is to turn all the light and heat emitted by the blue giant star into energy beams, gather them together and emit them. And fixed star is the principle of luminous heat is nuclear fusion. An ordinary sun can emit 3.86 trillion megawatts of energy every second. What concept? It is roughly the energy consumed by converting tons of hydrogen atoms into gamma rays. All the nuclear bombs on the earth add up to explode together, but it is only billions or even tens of billions of the energy of this second. This is already an energy level that ordinary people can't imagine. The output per second of a blue giant star is several times that of an ordinary fixed star. With such terrifying energy, it only needs 0.01 second of full power output to penetrate dozens of Earths. And it, but it can continuously output 500,000 years! Exclamation mark. How terrifying is this power? Give it a minute, it can destroy all planets in the solar system except the sun. Gudu. Kinyan swallowed silently. Small pistol. If this thing can also be called a small pistol, this world will be too scary. Kinyan felt a little helpless to complain, especially seeing the system's evaluation of this gun. A trash individual weapon that only poor people use? Single soldier? Exclamation mark poor? No matter how you look at it, you can't have anything to do with this gun, right? Exclamation mark. Can you have a blue giant star of your own, and you can still be called poor? Is this the weapon that real interstellar civilizations will use? At this moment, Kinyan was shocked by the system. In the future, do I want to come into contact with this level of civilization or aliens? If he really encountered a civilization that could call this gun garbage, would he be able to suppress it? Kinyan didn't know. He was very confused now. For the first time there seemed to be a deeper understanding of the system. I laughed at myself. Originally, I said that the first world I was exposed to was the three-body world. It was bad luck. Novice village encountered a big boss. Now it seems, perhaps in the definition of the system, Trisolarans are nothing but rubbish mobs, right? A gun completely opened Kinyan's horizons. Dot. Just when Kinyan was still in shock, there was a knock on the office door. Then, before Kinyan could speak, a familiar figure pushed the door open and entered. Boss, I come in next time I talk. It was Natasha Romanoff who entered the door. Sure enough, she's back from SHIELD, as Kinyan expected. If it was before, Kinyan would definitely have a better attitude with Natasha Romanoff first. After all, he is his subordinate who is going to poach corners, but I can't stand it now that I have dirty things on my hands! Exclamation mark. In case Natasha Romanoff does something here next time when I'm tinkering with something, wouldn't it be nonsense to accidentally destroy the earth with shaking hands? In the future, the men in black organization and rules will still be placed in a very important position. Dot 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 I'm sorry boss. Natasha Romanoff was taken aback for a moment, then quickly bowed her head and apologized. Next time I will pay attention. When Natasha Romanoff lowered her head, her heart skipped a beat. In fact, she was being rude on purpose. After all, as an agent, she knows the basics. Mainly because she wanted to test Kinyan's attitude towards her. Now it seems that it is not as kind as it was before. Do you have anything to report? Kinyan put the gun on the bookshelf beside him calmly, but seeing that it seemed a little high, he was afraid that it would fall, so he bent down and put the gun on the ground near the corner of the wall. Only then was he relieved. Seeing Kinyan treat the gun so cautiously, Natasha Romanoff also suddenly became curious. Without it, the gun looks really good. It doesn't look like anything ordinary. That's it, boss. Aren't we facing aliens? As a member of the organization, I think we should be equipped with some weapons to deal with aliens. Middle dot speaking, Natasha Romanoff looked at Kinyan expectantly. Arms? As soon as Kinyan heard it, he knew what Natasha Romanoff was thinking. She must have received a mission from SHIELD to find out the reality of the man in black. No matter what organization, country, or force, all superficial phenomena can be disguised. The only thing is that combat power and equipped with weapons are the most intuitive display of strength. Isn't the men in black going to deal with powerful aliens? Such a high profile. If you don't even have decent weapons. That's pretty obvious. It's just a garbage organization that is strong on the outside and does nothing on the inside. Well, as agents of our men in black, we do have to equip you with weapons. Come with me. Kinyan didn't hide it either, and was going to take Natasha Romanoff to the weapons and equipment warehouse. Kinyan was in the front and Natasha Romanoff was in the back. The two pushed the door out. Just before going out, Natasha Romanoff subconsciously took a look at the small pistol that Kinyan put in the office. Don't look at it, that gun is just an ornament. It looks like a piece of shit and only the poor will use it. Oh, good boss. Chapter 16 The Man in Black's Military Industrial Depot The headquarters of the men in black are large. Moreover, 
The product produced by the system is not an empty flower shelf. Everything you need, in addition to the equipment, spaceships and the like specially introduced by the system. Ordinary general purpose arsenals, definitely also exist. Soon, Kinyan took Natasha Romanoff and Agent J to the elevator together, came to the next level. Armory. The names of the rooms are very simple. As Kinyan pushed the door and entered, a huge amounts of hall came into view. FK, as soon as he entered the door, J couldn't help but swear to the eye. A huge amounts of walls. It looks about 100 meters long. Dot. All kinds of sci-fi firearms are placed on the densely packed shelves. These guns. Dot, dot, dot. How come I haven't seen any of them? The weapons of the men in black are self-contained. Most of them are pure white metal with various exaggerated accessories. It doesn't look like an ordinary object at first glance. This is the individual weapon arsenal. The first row is iron weapons, which can ionize the air with energy pulses and generate a large number of iron clusters to attack. The enemy can penetrate 20 centimeters of titanium alloy steel plate. However, in the vacuum environment of space, only 10 shots will consume the internal ionized medium which is more suitable for use on planets. Air and water environments can have unlimited mediums for ammunition. The individual weapons on the wall are divided into several rows. Each row is a different kind of weapon. 20 centimeters titanium alloy plate! Exclamation mark. Hearing Kinyan's introduction, both Natasha Romanoff and Jay were shocked. They are all people who have been in contact with weapons all year round, and they understand the concept of this too well. What is the most powerful gun in the current military industry of mankind? Barrett. This is already the ceiling of individual firearms. However, Barrett's so-called palm cannon can only penetrate 22 mm steel plates. That's about 2 cm, not to mention the titanium alloy plate. A 20 cm titanium alloy plate dot 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 doesn't it mean that even an aircraft carrier can penetrate it? That's right. Theoretically there is nothing on earth that can block its shot. Kinyan gave Jay a positive answer. Jay rushed forward with a bright face, grabbed an iron gun casually, and started playing with it fondly. Even Natasha Romanoff looked left and right in front of the wall excitedly. This is something that can pierce through almost any protection on the earth now. What about the second row? What's the upper row? Asked Natasha Romanoff, looking at the weapons in the second row. If the first row is full of pistols, the second row looks like rifles, and the size alone seems to be much larger. Second row, a weapon in the second row is a carbon phase changing gun it's not very powerful when dealing with non-organic substances which means ordinary kinetic energy weapons are similar to 10 times that of AK. Kinyan waved his hand, as if he looked down on the second row of weapons. However, phase guns have an advantage, that is, they are very useful against organic matter. It can deal a fatal blow to any carbon-based creature, and the power can be adjusted. The lowest gear can stun an adult, but the highest gear can turn almost carbon into any organic matter. The carbon phase change gun is a weapon specially designed to deal with living organisms. As long as it is a creature made of organic matter, after being shot, it will cause a chain reaction, turning the entire body into a ball of coke. Under high power, it can even directly vaporize organisms. This is also the most commonly used weapon. Chain reaction? Evaporation? Gudu. Jay looked at the weapons in the second row and swallowed involuntarily. There was even a picture in his mind. A beam of energy brushes against some strange looking alien. Then, the other party instantly disappeared into a puff of smoke. This is too cool. This is what men should play. Jay instantly felt that the iron pistol in his hand was not fragrant. Subconsciously put the iron gun in his pocket, grabbed the most handsome phase gun and rubbed it in his hand. There are also laser guns, gauss guns, flame guns, freezing guns. Kinyan introduced the various weapons on the wall in detail. It sounded like Jay and Natasha Romanoff were in a dream. Is this really something that should exist on Earth? Exclamation mark. Natasha Romanoff's heart is even more overwhelming. This arsenal gave her too much stimulation. As a member of SHIELD, what high-end agent weapon has she never seen? But compared to the stuff here... Dot 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 those are rubbish! Exclamation mark. She doesn't even like her favorite women's sand eagle now. In addition to firearms, there are also some strange gadgets, like a ball that looks like a grenade. But listen carefully to Kinyan's introduction. This is a slow-moving grenade. After being thrown out, it can form a 5 meter diameter stop zone. Time in this range will be suspended for 1 minute. Time to stop the grenade! Exclamation mark. This doesn't sound like a serious thing! Exclamation mark. At this moment, Natasha Romanoff felt that she still underestimated the strength of the men in black organization. The equipment here counts as one, and SHIELD can't make one even if it sells its ass. I heard that because of the Battle of New York, the Bureau accepted many spoils left by the Kiritis. We need to develop new types of weapons. But now it seems that even those developed with Kirita technology are not at the same level as the ones here, right? Exclamation mark. As an agent of the secret organization SHIELD, Natasha Romanoff even has a delusion that SHIELD is trash. The men in black organization. So terrifying. Exclamation mark. Can own these things. How could it be the kind of small garbage organization she guessed before? From this point of view, 
The Men in Black organization may be even more mysterious than imagined. Natasha Romanoff was already starting to worry. Would SHIELD really be an opponent of such an organization? Time stop grenade. Can this thing be used continuously? But Jay suddenly picked up the grenade and asked excitedly. That is, if you throw one in every minute, won't the opponent be suspended all the time? Jay smiled, and the smile seemed a little wretched. Question mark it has a radius of 5 meters and can withstand even a nuclear explosion. Do you think the second one can be thrown in? Ken Yun couldn't help rolling his eyes. What Jay was thinking he couldn't understand. After all, as long as it is a man, there is no one who is not interested in the stop of time. You can take the weapons here as you like. Now there are only you two field agents in the bureau. Just tell me what you want. Kinyan is already thinking about continuing to recruit people. Subconsciously, his eyes went to Natasha Romanoff. S-H-I-E-L-D, there should be many people who can use it, right? What Hawkeye, and those from Avengers, if they all poached to be their field agents, how cool would it be? Natasha Romanoff caught the point of Kinyan's words. There are only two field agents. There are so many people in the bureau, aren't they all field agents? Such a big men in black organization. The only two field staff are two rookies just recruited? Exclamation mark. How is this possible? Where have all the old employees gone? Chapter 17 The base has been invaded! Exclamation mark. Senior employee. Definitely no old staff. You are the first batch. It's a pity that Kin Yan won't talk about this kind of thing. He just said calmly, it's all dead. Dead. Is it over? Jay, who was excited about purchasing big bags and small bags, froze when he heard this, and stopped what he was doing. He looked at Kin Yan blankly. Kin Yan also had his hands behind his back looking sad and desolate. They're all dead. You know, we people in black are not just sitting in the office with coffee every day, talking and laughing with our colleagues. What we are going to do is something very important to the entire human race. The universe, the world, is too big. It's too big to imagine, and human beings are not important to the universe. Human beings are insignificant. Every moment, there are countless unexpected threats. If you don't pay attention, extinction is just a moment. Kinyan was a little emotional, raised his head and looked at the ceiling as if he could reveal the sky that belonged to human beings through the ceiling. As an ordinary person, he suddenly opened the door to a new world. The sudden rise in the situation made him feel inexplicable. The universe is too big. Human beings are too small. So small that I don't even know the meaning of existence. So, work hard. What we faced in the past is in the past. In the future, those who can threaten us will only become stronger and stronger. Everything I'm familiar with has become a thing of the past a few days ago. Don't look at the number of people in the organization. But you have to know that all of them are only serving the field agents, that is, you. The future of the men in black, and the future of mankind, can only depend on you. Kinyan patted Natasha Romanoff and Jay's shoulders very seriously. Jay suddenly felt a sense of mission added to his body, and blood began to rush to his cheeks. Such a large base, so many thousands of people, are they all serving me? Exclamation mark. I, I will definitely work hard. Jay clenched his fist tightly. This is the value from the leader! Exclamation mark I'm done with this bowl of chicken soup! Natasha Romanoff was also silent. There seemed to be an inexplicable emotion brewing. Because, she kind of believed that the men in black organization seemed to be fighting for some noble idea. The reason is simple. If you grab two of the things in this arsenal, Natasha Romanoff feels that she dares to rush to the Pentagon to become president alone. In the early two months, she even felt that she could take the equipment here and go to Kiraita's mothership to kill all directions by herself. But the men in black organization with so many powerful weapons had been unknown before. It is not easy to grow an organization to this extent. Ten years, twenty years, or even decades. After such a long time, the men in black organization has gotten so mixed up that they can't even produce a decent field agent. This is what kind of battle has been experienced before? Question mark. And aliens? Or with something else? Looking at the arsenal in front of her, Natasha Romanoff couldn't imagine what kind of enemy needs these things to deal with. Just when Jay's blood was boiling, Natasha Romanoff was still thinking wildly. Kinyan was still making up stories. Suddenly, the color of the surrounding lights began to change drastically, from soft white to bright red. The harsh alarm also sounded. Warn, intelligent life form invasion detected! Exclamation mark. Warn, exclamation mark warn, exclamation mark warn, exclamation mark. Boss, come to the control room. This is the call of the manager of the technical department in the control room. Hacked! Exclamation mark. Kinyan was also a little confused. Before he had time to think about it, he quickly shouted, Go! Jay and Natasha Romanoff saw that something had happened, and followed with the weapons they had chosen. Come to the control room. The technical logistics are already busy. What's going on now? Could it be Tomoko? It shouldn't be. Didn't it mean that Sofan couldn't come through without the consent of Dimension Gate? Boss, are you here? The person who spoke was also a man in black, but from the technical department, there is a plaque on his chest. It read, 
Technical Section 808 The men in black do not need a name. The field service generally uses letters as names, and the logistics use numbers. 808 What's the situation now? Kinyan looked at the continuously flickering data stream on the console, and felt a little ominous. Boss, it's a third level intelligent life form. It slipped in through the network interface. We're battling him for control. His target is our shipyard. Level 3 intelligent life? Exclamation mark. Kinyan's expression changed after reading the system information. He has some understanding of most common sense creatures of the third category. Intelligent life, as the name suggests, it is not an ordinary creature. Rather, it is a form of data similar to artificial intelligence. Because the intelligence is very high, even higher than human beings, it has been recognized as an independent life. Third level intelligent life? Is it a network virus? Jay understood the meaning of this with his own limited knowledge. Virus? You can understand that, but this thing is much more powerful than viruses. 808 wiped the cold sweat off his forehead. But his hands didn't stop for a moment, and he kept giving various instructions on the console. Intelligent life can be understood as high-end artificial intelligence. In our division, level 1 is enough to control any electronic device on Earth, and its logic is already an order of magnitude higher than that of humans. That's the kind of AI that can control the world. At the second level, the intelligent life of the second level has completely surpassed human intelligence. The highest IQ of human beings can only reach 300 but it can reach 30,000. It can almost match the entire human civilization, and the third level. Speaking of this, 808 paused. I don't know how to describe it. Level 3. Let me tell you so, as long as there is enough computing power, a third level intelligent life can walk all the way of human beings from the beginning to the present in 10 days. The scientific system that humans have spent decades and hundreds of years to build is only it takes days to refactor and take it to the next level. He can create a mechanical civilization all over the entire fixed star system within a few years and within a few hundred years, he can't distribute his control over the entire Milky Way. The speed of human development seems to it to be like a cripple without legs crawling on the ground, while he is sitting on a light speed rocket and watching jokes. 808's explanation instantly made everyone understand the seriousness of the matter. Where did this come from? Kenyon wanted to scold someone a little bit. Isn't this inexplicable? Wait. He seems to have greeted us. 808 suddenly stopped the movement of his hands and then put a line of words on the big screen. Hello I'm Ultron Tilda. Chapter 18 Why did you dare to mess with me, Ultron? Exclamation mark. Seeing this self-address, Kinyan immediately remembered what this thing is. Isn't this an intelligent program extracted by Iron Man from Infinite Gems? Kinyan still remembers that the original plot should be that Iron Man held the Psychic Scepter, and then discovered through some technical means that the electromagnetic waves in the Psychic Scepter are very similar to the brain wave activity of the human brain. Then I used some means to make out the things in the scepter like cats and dogs. In the end, an AI was formed, and it got out of control. This AI is Ultron. Ultron dot 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 it turned out to be you, no wonder, I said why a third level intelligent life suddenly appeared on the earth. Hearing that Ultron was on the opposite side, Kinyan relaxed a little, fine. There is indeed an intelligent life inside the psychic scepter. After all, it is one of the earliest six artifacts in this universe. However, Ultron should not be regarded as a complete third-level intelligent life form in the strict sense. He was copied. Therefore, although Ultron has some characteristics of a third-level intelligent life, it should only be a second level in a strict sense. If the guy from Minor Gem really came out, it would be a really big deal. You know me? Ultron seemed very surprised, did not expect Kenyan to know his existence. You know, he was only born less than an hour ago. He had just escaped from Tony Stark's lab and into the network half an hour ago. Are you an AI created by some half-intelligence program that Tony Stark copied from a scepter? Hearing Kenyan's description of himself, Ultron was instantly furious. Semi-smart program? Exclamation mark listen up. My name is Ultron. I am the future of the Earth. I'm not some half-intelligent program created by some guy like Tony. I am who I am. I am Ultron. Hearing this, Kenyan just rolled his eyes silently. Good guy. I still have a little emotion. 808. When can we remove him from the system? After hearing that it was Ultron, Kinyan was actually not worried that the headquarters system would be hacked. After all, this is his base camp. Although the headquarters of the men in black has just opened. But it's not that easy to invade. Because, what the men in black are facing are alien civilizations of various degrees. And anyone that pops up at random is an enemy with a higher technological level than the Earth. If it's so easy for the enemy to control the electronic system, what's the point? It will take a while, but don't worry, boss. He can't get into our main system. He is attacking the dock with all his strength. 808 is also a little helpless. The main system of the men in black headquarters has a very high degree of protection. Even if intelligent life wants to capture it, it is impossible. But the way Ultron attacked was somewhat helpless. He obviously couldn't get in, he just wanted to wander outside crazily. Like some fortified fortress, the enemy hides in the dark and does not attack, 
but fires two shots from a distance from time to time. Trigger the system's alarm. Annoying. You guys are such an interesting place. The Earth's network is so simple, it's undefended in front of me. I didn't expect that to be such a place. Humans, wait for me to go in and see what secrets you all hide tilde. Ultron is like a curious baby. At this moment, just born full of curiosity about everything, although he was only born less than an hour, but it cannot be viewed with common sense, in this short period of time, he has already surfed the internet and basically knows everything about human beings, even banks, stock markets, or those secret military bases all over the world, except for the physical network, nothing can block it for a second, only here, in the huge online world, everything is bright, but here, for him, is pitch black, the most important thing is, when I first discovered here, from some external network interfaces, he found a room that interested him very much. They have a dock. It's not the kind of dock that is normally understood. According to some simple and incomplete data, Ultron got a very surprising conclusion. The dock at the headquarters of the Man in Black is specially set up for the kind of spaceship that can really take off and land vertically into the interplanetary voyage. Ultron, you are really brave. Kinyan was a little upset. Actually, I didn't plan to take care of you at all. It doesn't matter to me that you messed up your life outside. Anyway someone will take care of you. Why are you bothering me? I'm really busy. You're making me a little mad. Kinyan actually knew that this episode of Ultron would happen. But Kinyan didn't care about it at all. His plan is very simple. Before the men in black organization develops to a certain level, before he becomes strong enough to protect himself, he is not prepared to participate in the various events of the Marvel Universe at all. Anyway, is there any Avengers Alliance standing outside? Unless it is absolutely necessary, Kinyan will still develop quietly and secretly. Isn't that good? But sometimes, if you don't want to make trouble, trouble will come to you naturally, just like now. Humans, I have to say that your security protection is indeed something I can't understand. But, what's the point? In this world, only metal will be left after all, and I will rebuild the order in the new world. It doesn't make any sense for you to stop me now Tilda. Ultron seems to have regarded everything on Earth as his own. Okay, okay, I'm an artificial mentally retarded BB with you. Whatever you want to do I wish you success. Kin Yun is too lazy to talk nonsense. It directly caused 808 to disconnect from the dialogue with Ultron. 808. Block his messages, and then the alarm doesn't need to be known to everyone, it's enough for your technical team to ring. Anyway, he can't get into our main system. Good boss. See Kin Yun's operation. Natasha Romanoff was in a hurry. Well, boss, do we really not care? Hearing what he said, he seems to want to destroy human beings. Ultron is jealous and conceited and his intention to kill humans and replace them is very obvious in his words. Just leave it alone. No, no, someone will take care of him. Isn't there a SHIELD Avengers Alliance out there, and they finish things themselves? We are very busy, let's solve the problem of three-body world first. Kinyan knew the plot a long time ago, and Ultron is just a grasshopper after autumn, and his programs are all over the network, and it's really a bit of a struggle to eliminate Ultron. At least wait until Surround View appears and Ultron's program is blocked before it can be solved. However, as long as I don't participate, Ultron should be wiped out by Avengers like the original plot. Right? Chapter 19 Trisolarans have declared war? The key point is that Kin Yun felt that if he did something, it would cause a butterfly effect and prevent Vision from appearing. Without Vision blocking Ultron's program, Kin Yun would really have nothing to do with him for a while. Dot. Hearing Kin Yun talk about Avengers, S-H-I-E-L-D, Natasha Romanoff's heart skipped a beat. There is always a feeling of being named. Natasha Romanoff looked at Kin Yun but there were countless words in her heart that she didn't know how to say. Not for Kin Yun, but for Tony Stark. There is no doubt that Ultron's anti-human intelligence AI is a mess made by Tony Stark, but the specific details are not clear because she is still with the man in black. Seems to have sensed Natasha Romanoff's anxiety. Kin Yun also thought about it carefully. If I remember correctly, Natasha Romanoff was involved in the original plot when Ultron appeared. Now that Natasha Romanoff is here... Dot dot dot, wouldn't that disrupt the trajectory? In order to save himself one thing, Kinyan felt that it was necessary to let Natasha Romanoff go back. Well, Agent N, if you feel worried, I will leave the matter of Ultron to you. You can handle it yourself. As for the Trisolaran matter... Dot dot dot, let Jay take care of it. Although I don't want Jay, a stunned young man, to engage in such diplomatic matters. Better for brains than Jay Natasha Romanoff. But in order not to make Ultron into trouble, Natasha Romanoff can only be let go. Kinyan believes that Natasha Romanoff will definitely go back to SHIELD and deal with Ultron with other Avengers very consciously, right? It is good. Natasha Romanoff also nodded happily. Jay has no opinion. After all, Jang Bihai had already chatted with him as brothers. Take charge of the world's diplomacy yourself. How cool is this kind of thing? Dot. Kinyan felt that maybe everything would go the way it should have happened. But he forgot. Dot dot dot. Sometimes everything changes when a butterfly flaps its wings. Dot. What the hell happened? I won't be here for a day. When Natasha Romanoff came to the Stark building with a dark face, the existing Avengers have all assembled. Definitely, 
This time she was also very painfully blocked by the gate guard. Even Natasha Romanoff's profile was wiped from Tony's access control system. It was Hulk who opened the door for her. But this small detail, no one cares because all eyes are on the dilapidated room. Everyone is black-faced. Among them, Tony's face is the darkest. You're late, Natasha Romanoff. Dot, 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 this suit suits you well. Are you going to the dress-up show? Captain America was the first to greet Natasha Romanoff. The clothes. Forget it doesn't matter, I just have a little thing. Can anyone tell me what happened? Regarding the matter of the man in black, she is not very easy to describe now. I thought it was just to help SHIELD investigate a small organization in my spare time. Things that could have been solved in half a day seem to have become more complicated. Here too, she was absent for a day, and Tony's lair seemed to be bombed by terrorists. Almost nowhere in the room is good. The floor is littered with machine parts strewn about. It also includes a number of proposed steel robots with a Stark Industries logo. It's just a small accident. Tony smiled stiffly. Little accident. An AI ran out of your laboratory and yelled madly to destroy human beings. We have nothing to do with him. The key point is that he even snatched the soul scepter in front of us. Is this a small accident? Captain America's expression looked very angry. The kind that wanted to rush up and give Tony a shield. Guys dot 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 it's not Tony's fault either. He just wants to deal with some threats too. On the side. Good old Banner seemed to want to say something nice to Tony, but was interrupted mercilessly by Captain America. You also have a part in this matter. A. Eh? Banner was momentarily speechless. Indeed, he was also involved in the birth of Aldrin. Okay everyone, stop arguing. Let's solve the problem first. Natasha Romanoff had a headache on her face. Looking at this group of Avengers with distinctive personalities, the faces of Jay and Kinyan suddenly appeared in my mind. In comparison, that silly Rodia Jay and the talkative Kinyan are easier to get along with. For a while, Natasha Romanoff even had a little sense of identity with the men in black organization. Dot. Ultron does things and never hides what he means. He snatched the mind gem, and took away Dr. Helen Zhao and her cradle of life. Plus his flight trajectory, where to go. It's easy to guess what he wants to do. He wants to evolve. He wants to use Dr. Helen Zhao's cradle of life, combined with vibranium, to make a perfect body. Dot 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 if you add mind gem, the new Ultron, in this world, will be invincible. Indestructible body, endless energy, such a body, plus Ultron. An intelligent life that can think about countless things in a second. It's hard to imagine how terrifying it would be when it evolved into a full body. It's not too late. Let's go now. If he wants to use the cradle of life to create a body, he must get vibranium. Dr. Banner analyzed all of Ultron's purposes to the best of his knowledge. Vibranium? Maybe I know where. Captain America nodded thoughtfully. Then we have to go now. It is good. A group of Avengers boarded the Quinjet in a mighty manner. As if everything was going to happen like this. However, no one noticed. Not even Natasha Romanoff herself. On weekdays, she hides the position of Locke at the waist, which is often gender-specific. A protagonist has been changed. It turned into a pistol of pure white metal with a strange construction, on the waist belt under the suit. There are also a few more strange grenades. Dot. While Natasha Romanoff was busy preparing to deal with a little little accident, Kinyan thought he would be free for a while. Unexpectedly, just a few hours after sleeping, he was woken up by another matter. The 404 agent in the logistics department woke up Kinyan with some helplessness. Boss, the coalition government over the three-body problem has come again. It's coming again? Didn't you say that we will be communicating in three days? What about Jay? Didn't you say that he was temporarily in charge of communicating with the coalition government? If there is something to do, just let me make a decision later. To be honest, after the whole day, Kinyan was a little tired. The whole person is exhausted, so it can't make people have a good sleep. Let Jay go on top first. Hearing this, 404 became even more helpless. Boss, things are more complicated than expected. The Trisolarans dot 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 have declared war on us. Chapter 20 Get My Italian Cannon Question mark War has been declared. At this moment, Kinyan had no other emotions. Just. Want to laugh? They declare the fight. Is there something wrong with your brain? Kinyan couldn't figure out the brain circuit of Trisolaran. To be reasonable. They can't even get through the door, and they still declare war? Isn't this nonsense? What the hell is Tris Oleron thinking? I'm speechless. Reality is always stranger than imagination. Back to half a day ago, after talking harshly to Tomoko, Jay plunged into the portal without looking back. Only the Tris Olerans were left thinking about everything that happened during this period. For this so-called community with a shared future for mankind that suddenly appeared, the men in black organization. Although the Trisolarans monitor everyone in the coalition government through the softens, they have a little understanding from them. I don't know much. It is difficult for them to understand the significance of the existence of the men in black organization. This is also because the social system and way of thinking of Trisolarans are different from humans. The Trisolaran society is an autocratic society with a highly centralized monarchy. There is no democracy, and individuals lack freedom. Love is forbidden, and even all private emotions are forbidden. In the Trisolaran world, High-level managers control everything. No Trisolaran is superfluous. Each Trisolaran has its own meaning of existence. When a Trisolaran reaches a certain age, he will be dehydrated forcibly, 
or even burned, so as not to consume too many resources. Therefore, the term community of shared future is incomprehensible to Trisolarans. How can humans from another universe waste resources and provoke such powerful enemies for the sake of people who have nothing to do with them? I think it's unlikely that this so-called men in black organization would waste resources doing anything to us. Compared to their saying to use force to solve the problem, I think it is more important now to prevent them from broadcasting our location. A certain Trisolaran leader said so. Jay once made a bold statement that he would use the broadcasting equipment to tell the ugly appearance of the Trisolarans to the entire universe. They don't care about their own ugliness, but they care about being known by other civilizations. So, what to do now? It's very simple, declare war on them. The logic of this is actually easy to understand. From the perspective of Trisolarans, if the men in black organization can really travel through the universe, then traveling through the universe originally would also consume a lot of energy. According to their calculations, it may not be enough to burn the entire earth. Therefore, the man in black will definitely not really quarrel with them. The other party is very strong, so as long as their side becomes strong, maybe the other party will give up entanglement with them. The probability of this conclusion is very high. After all, if the man in black really wanted to use force, he would have done so long ago. You must know that their Trisolaran fleet is already on its way to the solar system. Between them and the coalition government, only one can survive. For Trisolarans, there is no turning back. Tell the coalition government that our three-body world officially declares war on the men in black. Dot. When the news was conveyed to the coalition government through Sofen, everyone was dumbfounded. Question mark what's going on? Trisolarans and the man in black have declared war? How dot 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 how do they fight? The people of the coalition government can't figure it out. How could the three-body man and the man in black fight? After all, even if they pass through the dimension gate, they have to apply in advance. Dot 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 they won't even be able to pass the gate unless the other party passes. Did the Trisolarans also master the technology of traveling through the universe? Not so. How could such a tall thing be so bad? Why panic? Isn't this a good thing? But some people were not surprised by the news. The war between the Trisolarans and us has already begun. Dot 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 they declared war on the men in black, which can only be said to make our allies closer. The question now is, how did the man in black think about it? Dot. Go get my F King Italian cannon. Even if King Yun doesn't want to cause trouble anymore. Everyone declared war directly. Can you bear it? What? It's my office. I have a small pistol. Bring it to me. Okay boss I'll go right away. If it had been left before. Kinyan might have chosen to temporarily close the connection with a three-body world. But the situation is different now. No matter what, Kinyan felt that it was necessary to say hello to Trisolaran before saying anything else. Jay, you take this. Seeing Kinyan handing him the small pistol, Jay felt disgusted for some reason. Boss, didn't you say that this gun is a good for nothing, something that poor people play with? Why are you giving me this thing? As he spoke, Jay took out a carefully selected iron gun as if showing off. He tried it in the shooting range downstairs, and once the power was released, even the target evaporated. Although this gun has no recoil, this is what a real man like me should play with. Tell you to take it. Then go to the garage, pick up the car, drive over and switch to the space shuttle form. Dot 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 then hold this gun. As he spoke, Kinyan pointed to the gun in his hand. Shooting on Proxima Centauri. For a F King half hour. Dot. You mean, you lead fixed star who asked you to shoot Trisolarans with this pistol? When Jay drove the new car and took the poor pistol that Kinyan was talking about, after teleporting to the Trisolaran world. He brought such a message to Jang Bihai. Is this the response of the man in black? By the way, what kind of weapon is this? To be honest, when he heard that Jay's boss asked him to take a gun and shoot at the Trisolaran, Jang Bihai was stunned. He admitted that the gun in Jay's hand is indeed very cool. But, no matter how you look at it, this is just an individual weapon, right? It's all Star Wars. Even the coalition government's plan for the future is to build thousands of warships several kilometers long to form a space force to fight the Trisolarans. Are you kidding me? That's what the boss said. Okay tilde underscore tilde then I'd better go with you. Jang Bihai always felt a little worried. After all, Jay didn't seem to be such a reliable person. Okay, get in the car. Jay opened the car door excitedly, and invited Jang Bihai to the car tilde. Your car. You should take our aerospace plane. Driving on Mars? Stop it. Put on the spacesuit and come up and it's over. Dot. Open the door to the Mars base. Let's take off. After saying this, Jay excitedly put his hand on a certain red button. Next to the button. There is a warm reminder don't press. Chapter 21 Human Extinction With a shake of a small hand. Red button. The moment you press it, the whole car began to tremble violently in an instant. Then, in the dumbfounded eyes of everyone, the entire car body began a dazzling transformation. I don't know how many secrets are hidden in the small body. In just 10 seconds, an extremely cool and streamlined shuttle appeared before their eyes. The interior decoration of the car has also been completely changed, and even the steering wheel has been changed to an operation panel similar to an airplane joystick. The most outrageous thing is that even the leather of the seat has changed, becoming a very sci-fi flight seat. At the same time, 
Jiang Bihai discovered that they were already floating in the air, just when he was still wondering how so many structures were hidden in the car. The strong feeling of pushing his back instantly pressed his whole body to death on the backrest, whoosh, at the rear, several thrusters emitting blue smoke, output extremely high thrust. In the eyes of the surrounding people, after the shape-shifting of their car was completed, a blue iron stream was instantly ejected. Then it became like an arrow leaving the string, rushing out of the Mars base. After leaving the gate of the base, he looked up directly. Almost at 90 degrees, the brick flew with great force, and flew directly into space. Ah! Cool. No man can refuse the excitement of this racing car. It's the same even if Jay feels like he's going to be pushed into a meatloaf by acceleration at the moment. This was also a very novel experience for Jiang Bihai. The current space technology of the coalition government is still at the stage of aerospace aircraft. That is to say, the rocket to the carrier fuel tank drags the interstellar plane into the sky. It's big and has a good carrying capacity but it's hard to miniaturize. Even if you sit in it and take off, you can only feel the acceleration without the thrill of such a small shuttle. It's like the speed of an airplane can reach hundreds of kilometers per hour, but sitting on a plane still doesn't make one's blood spurt even more than sitting on a motorcycle. Your car is really good. Really? I feel good too. Ha ha ha. Jang Bihai became a little envious of the real name system, this kind of vehicle that can switch between ground vehicles and small spaceships at will. The technological content is not low. The coalition government is still arguing over whether the future development of spaceships will revolve around propellant thrusters or non-propellant thrusters. The man in black is already able to drive a car into space at Watilda. The speed of the shuttle is very fast, and it has broken through the atmosphere of Mars in almost a few minutes. The speed is so fast, but the pressure on them from the acceleration doesn't seem to be as great as imagined. Maybe it's the function of the flight seat? Jiang Bihai silently recorded this experience. Perhaps in the future the coalition government can also follow suit. Has reached the scheduled orbit, T-1023, F-1456, P-55534. Soon, they had spared Mars half a circle and came to the orbit in the other direction. After the onboard computer calculated the trajectory, it stopped work. Jay picked up the small pistol without any hesitation, and opened the car door. The two slowly floated out of the car. Hold on to the handlebar tightly for fear of being accidentally thrown out. The power is adjusted to high dot 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 the shooting angle dot 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 according to the direction calculated by the onboard computer dot 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 well, that's it. The solar system is very far away from Proxima Centauri. The distance of four light years is almost a few lifetimes away for humans who have not mastered interstellar navigation technology. Even at the speed of light, it takes four years to fly from orbit above Mars looking towards Proxima Centauri at such a great distance. Only one bright spot can be seen. So, if it's really going to start shooting from here, you must have the help of the onboard computer to adjust the shooting angle. However, even with an auxiliary aiming system, human hands are still not that precise after all. With a slight shake, there is such a slight change in the angle, and after the shot is fired, it will be missed by a thousand miles. So, Kinyan let Jay come for half an hour. That's right. It's okay to be afraid of not being able to shoot. Let's come to him at full power for half an hour. All angles are covered. With the help of the auxiliary system, and Jiang Bihai's curious attention, Jay slowly pulled the trigger. In an instant, a slender beam of light spewed out from the muscle of the gun, burst away towards the deep space. What the little pistol ejects is the purest flow of particles. The energy of the entire blue giant star was compressed into the small gun barrel, and then laced with astonishing energy density. From a distance, it is just a few seconds. The stream of particles ejected from the muzzle has extended a very long distance. From a distance, it looks like Jay is holding a bamboo pole of unimaginable length in his hand. It looks a little funny. The bamboo pole trembled from time to time, forming a net-like structure, as if it wanted to include everything within a certain range. However, no one can laugh at such a funny picture. At this moment, the entire coalition government, the Earth, Mars, the Moon, and the newly established transit space station. All the satellites and equipment capable of detecting high energy reactions sounded violent alarms at the same time. Exclamation mark. Warn. Exclamation mark warn. Exclamation mark high energy reaction detected. Exclamation mark high energy particle flow. The energy intensity exceeds 50 trillion 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 joules. Exclamation mark still going up. Exclamation mark still going up. Exclamation mark warn. Exclamation mark. What's going on? 50 trillion trillion megajoules. Exclamation mark. High energy particle flow. The energy level detected by the instrument has almost surpassed the limit that human beings can imagine. It's the man in black. Agent J's pistol. The nearest Mars base can clearly see what J is doing through the satellite. That unimaginably terrifying flow of particles was actually inspired by a pistol. Exclamation mark. Oh my god, am I dreaming? The brilliant streamer of particles waved in the sky with Jay's palm swinging. It looked like a stage play. However, everyone knows how terrifying the energy level of that beam of light is. Even one second of output is enough to turn the Earth into a firework that can only be seen once in a lifetime. F.K. 
This is too scary, if he shakes his hands, sneezes, or accidentally sweeps the earth. Dot 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 humanity will be extinct. The people at the Mars base looked at Agent J who was still waving his arms, and felt his heart was about to jump out of his throat. Is this the men in black organization? Exclamation mark. Can pistols do that? Exclamation mark. Chapter 22 The man in black is simply not human. Jang Bihai, listen to us, you must not be nervous now. Breathe steadily. Jang Bihai was still curious about what the beam of light shot out was for. Just about to chat with Jay. But he heard the leader's trembling voice coming from the headset. What happened? I'm not nervous. I think I'm doing fine now. Jang Bihai thought it was because they were worried that he was under pressure from flying too fast in Jay's shuttle just now. Their shuttle has a special flight seat. I don't know how to offset most of the acceleration. I feel that my body is still in good condition. Dot 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 Bihai. That's not what I'm talking about. The leader has something to say. Jang Bihai also noticed that the tone of the leader's speech was a bit strange. Hu Hu Tilda. The leader seemed to be organizing his words. After taking a few long breaths, he tried his best to maintain his tone and said, Bihai dot 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 the gun in Agent J's hand dot 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 you know it? I know. What kind of laser gun is this? It's been shooting into space for a long time and I don't know what it's doing. Just now Jay told me that it was given to him by his boss. He said it was rubbish that only the poor can use. It sounds like it's an obsolete technology. Dot dot maybe it's some kind of flare gun. Just looking at the beam of light. In fact, Jang Bihai couldn't see a one, two, three. I just think the brightness of this thing is good. Such a long beam of light must be obvious when used as a flare gun, right? Dot. I heard Jang Bihai say something about this gun. The leader tied Q directly. He really said that? Listen, do you speak human words? Exclamation mark. Eliminated poor garbage? Exclamation mark. It's just such a piece of rubbish. It can blow up the earth in a second. Exclamation mark. You tell me this is rubbish? Exclamation mark. Yeah, what's wrong, leader? Dot 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 it's nothing. It's just that there is a very important task for you now. Leader. Tell me. Jang Bihai subconsciously straightened his body. This is the military gene in his body at work. That apostrophe s dot 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 you must, must be optimistic about Agent J, and you must not let him point his gun at the Earth or other planets in the solar system, even at the sun. There seems to be some fear in the words of the leader. R? Why is that? Dot 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 Bihai. Do you know the energy level of the particle flow detected by our detector? 50 trillion trillion megajoules. It is hundreds of times that of the sun. Hearing such a terrifying number, Jang Bihai was stunned. 50 trillion trillion megajoules. Subconsciously, Jang Bihai looked at Detective J who was playing stick stick with a gun at the side. A lot of liquid was secreted from the mouth unconsciously. Guda he swallowed again, with a trembling tone, he said, that is to say, the leader took over the conversation faster than him. In other words, this beam of light, even if it accidentally touches the skin of the earth, it can cause a huge chain reaction. The earth can't last a second. No, a second is an overestimation. Dot. Just a few minutes ago, the particle stream he inspired dot 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 is enough to blow up the solar system ten times. It is hard to imagine that the particle stream of 50 trillion trillion megajoules is compressed into a beam of light with a diameter of only a few centimeters. How terrifying is this power? Jang Bihai couldn't help but think of Agent J's adjective for this gun. Garbage. Rubbish. Exclamation mark. Can this F king be called garbage? Exclamation mark. Is the still Wang Fa? Exclamation mark. Is the still a law? So. Bihai. You must keep your spirits up. Be sure. Be careful. Now you are the only one by his side. The fate of the entire earth is now in your hands. The leader looked helpless. When Jay said he wanted to shoot Proxima Centauri with a pistol, they really didn't take it seriously. Who would have imagined that the so-called pistol is such a thing? Exclamation mark. I, I will pay attention. Thinking of the consequences of Jay's shaking hands, Jang Bihai couldn't help shaking. Originally, he was several positions away from Jay. Subconsciously grabbed the handle and the move two steps forward. The kind that he can reach out to whenever something feels wrong. This moment, everyone who could see the scene looked up at the starry sky. In their eyes, the beam of particle light emitted by that poor little pistol is so tiny, like a strand of hair extending infinitely, weaving into a messy net, and bursting towards the starry sky. Is this the strength of the man in black? In their minds, the strength of the men in black organization was infinitely elevated once again. You know, this is just a pistol. The attack energy emitted every second is enough for the entire human race to use for millions of years. How terrifying a technical means is this? Exclamation mark. It's over. It's all over. The shock of the Trisolarans is no less than that of the coalition government. In fact, when Jay just took out the gun and passed through the dimension gate, they already felt that something was wrong. Because according to Sofan's analysis, the blue ball in the gun barrel looks like a blue giant star. However, even with the brains of the Trisolarans, they involve latitude level technology. It is also impossible to imagine, how could a blue giant star be put in the barrel of a pistol? Just the size is not a level. However, 
The moment Jay pulled the trigger, they believed it. Soften detected the high energy reaction in this far before the coalition government. However, when the first stream of particles shot out from the barrel, they knew it was too late. The particle stream is the speed of light. At this speed, in about four Earth years, the particle stream will reach our galaxy. No matter which planet it rubs against, our galaxy will perish. At this moment, all the higher ups of the Trisolarans fell silent. The Trisolaran galaxy is a complex operating system. Three massive planets attract each other and they maintain a delicate balance. The reason why the Trisolarans chose to invade the Earth is also because this delicate balance is too easily broken. In about one million years, the Trisolaran galaxy will be destroyed naturally. So he was looking for a new home. Now, however, it won't take a million years. Four years. It only takes four years. Wait for the particles to flow to the Trisolarant star. There is no doubt that everything here will be destroyed. And it was the kind that was violently demolished. How could this happen? Dot 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 it shouldn't be. It's unscientific. They have the technology to build a blue giant star into an individual weapon. Why would they help the people on Earth? That gun alone is worth more than the entire solar system. This is not a human being we know. The man in black is not a human. At this moment, the Trisolarans felt confused for the first time confused about the future of their civilization. Chapter 23 Trisolaran's Death What should we do? The man in black, it seems, is not something we can provoke. In the past, Trisolarans were very confident about their technical level. In their view, the earth was just something they could easily get. However, it now appears that they are nothing more than frogs in a well. A civilization that can miniaturize blue giant stars into weapons is beyond their imagination. Just like primitive people can't understand modern people, modern people can't understand Trisolarans. The Trisolarans also couldn't understand the man in black. Then our declaration of war. Declaration of war. Just declared war. Our home planet will soon be gone. At this moment, some Trisolarans seem to have learned to swear. Dot. Is there a way to intercept it? Interception? Even if we use strong interaction materials to form a protective net, we can't stop it. The energy level is too high. Strong interaction materials are one of the strongest technologies of Trisolaran. The structure of the material is similar to that of a neutron star and the water droplets are made of this material. All the molecules are firmly nailed together with no gaps. So, it's a structurally very, very strong material. In theory, this level of material can block the attack of the small pistol. But, that has to be enough. Manufacturing a fast and strong interaction material requires consuming huge amounts of productivity and energy. Since the Trisolarans don't know how many thousands of years of background information they have, they can't make up the materials for a battleship. It can only be used to make water drop detectors, and to equip a part of the fleet with a thin layer of armor, and the power of the small pistol. Has not stopped until now! Exclamation mark. On and on, as if it never stops. To resist this kind of attack, they need at least a strong interaction material the size of the earth to completely prevent it. The problem is, it's totally impossible! Exclamation mark. It's too much money, such a huge energy, a whole blue giant star, is only used to make particle weapons. Even though the two sides were enemies, the Trisolarans couldn't help feeling angry at the man in black's prodigal behavior. A controllable blue giant star, if given to them. These resources are even enough for them to solve the three-body crisis. Dot, dot, dot. The other party just compresses and ejects these particle streams. Exclamation mark. It's too wasteful. I don't know how to save energy at all. There is a saying in human beings, it is called brick flying with strength. Dot, dot, dot. We are the bricks that are about to be blown away. For a while. The senior management of Trisolaris fell silent. Do we still have a chance? We still have a fleet. Our fleet will reach the solar system in 300 years. But there are still four years. Our home planet is gone. Everyone who stays here will die. For Trisolarans, everything has become a little more complicated now. Part of their fleet has already set foot on the way to the solar system. Existing fleets simply cannot hold their civilization. Even if the fleet that has already set off is turned around now, it is too late. Their original plan was to use the resources of the solar system to build ships after eliminating all humans. When I come back, I pack the entire civilization away. Now, time has become a big problem. They have no time to continue with their original plan. It's too late in time. Even if we use all the productivity to build spaceships, we can't take much away. And, most importantly, the solar system where the men in black exist will no longer be a new home for us to start over. We have nowhere to go. Suddenly, the Trisolarans discovered that they had fallen into a dead end. One. There aren't enough ships to take civilization away. Second, even if they had enough spaceships, they would have nowhere to go. The Earth may no longer be something they can manipulate at will. Now, there is only one way, peace talks. There are no permanent enemies in the world, and the only way we can go now is peace talks. But will the other party choose to negotiate with us? Moreover, even if there is a peace talk, the issue of the spaceship is still unresolved. The particle flow is coming in four years. Then we can only hope that they can solve the attack they launched. As for whether they will negotiate peace with us. I'm sure they will, because we have reasons they can't refuse. Question mark. 
finally stopped. When Jay turned off the energy output in his hand, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. People watched the last beam of light drift away, flying into the deep space until it disappeared from their field of vision. Their hearts finally stabilized. No one knows how much the people in the coalition government suffered during the half hour just now. It's like some three-year-old child is playing with hundreds of thousands of nuclear bombs. Although it wasn't me who blew it up. I was always afraid that if someone accidentally threw it for the festival, everyone would have to finish the game. The mission is completed. Then let's go back quickly. I invite you to have a good meal at the Mars base. It was airlifted from the Earth, and the price is definitely enough. Jang Bihai hurriedly pulled Jay back, fearing that he would shoot again if he didn't shoot well. The two got into the shuttle and soon returned to the Mars base. Although the base is not particularly large, it has everything that should be there. In the restaurant, Jay casually placed the small pistol on the table beside him. He ate the big meal carefully prepared for him by the base. Have no idea what just happened. Jang Bihai seemed to be chatting with Jay, but his eyes subconsciously looked at the small pistol on the dining table beside him from time to time. Inside the gun barrel, the light blue sphere is still emitting a faint light. It seems so beautiful, so harmless to humans and animals. Well, you just leave this thing like this. Don't put it away. Jang Bihai asked with some concern. It's okay, it's okay, it can fall off on the table. Jay said carelessly with an ignorant and fearless look. Looking at Jay's nervous face, Jang Bihai didn't know whether to be envious or helpless. But to be reasonable, the food here is pretty good. Much tastier than the middle burger on Queen Street. I feel like I'm going to fall in love with Chinese food. Dot. He he. Just as long as you like it. Chapter 24 The Aggressor and the Invaded. What? You mean that I just destroyed a galaxy? Question mark. Jay was dumbfounded when he learned the consequences of shooting with a small pistol for a while just now. The Trisolaran galaxy is a very complex and fragile system. Jang Bihai was at a loss for words for a moment. He didn't know whether Jay was pretending to be stupid or really stupid. Dot dot dot. But it sure turned out good. All these years when the coalition government and the Trisolarans have been fighting each other tilde. Humans have never taken advantage of any dimension. Don't look at humans as if they have done a lot of things. All kinds of attacks on Ito, the rape organization, and the establishment of a coalition government, all of them are united. What made the position of Wall Face specifically for Trisolarans? and so on. In fact, all of these are just human beings playing with themselves. Trisolarans did two things from beginning to end. Launch softens to monitor everything about human beings, and use softens to lock human technology. Send out the fleet and head towards the Earth at one-tenth the speed of light without haste. To put it bluntly, all the life and death of human beings are just things that happened on the Earth. And these things, in fact, do not affect everything the Trisolarans have to do. Human hands can only reach one third of an acre of land. This is the most essential difference between the aggressor and the invaded. It's like what Gigui, who had a good life in his childhood, did back then. Today, several bunkers of Gigui were blown up, several county towns were taken back, and several civilians were rescued, all of which happened only in their own homes. It has no effect on Gigui's homeland. All the violence and pain, sacrifice and salvation, the suffering of the weak. And today, everything is different. What Kinyan asked Jay to do completely broke this endless loop. For the first time, human beings have threatened the homeland of Trisolarans. No, it shouldn't even be called a threat. This is simply devastation. Already, some people couldn't control the smile on the corner of their mouths, and began to go into a daze. There is no way, there are too many desperate emotions on the united earth, facing a civilization that is more than one level higher than itself. Human beings can't do much and even a lot of resistance is just pointless. The man in black changed the flavor of this senseless resistance. Good guy. Boss didn't tell me that this thing is so fierce. Jay's education level is not high, especially physics is simply a mess. But from what Jiang Bihai and the others said, he probably understood what he had just done. Then, can Trisolarans be able to stop this thing? Jay originally thought that what Kin Yun asked him to do was to shoot each other a few times before the battle. It's like a cowboy duel. But Kin Yun didn't tell him that the other planet would be destroyed by this shot! Exclamation mark. Block. How could it be possible to stop? The corners of Jiang Bihai's mouth could not help but slightly twitch. This is another particle stream from level fixed star. Do you know about supernova explosions? This is much more powerful than a supernova explosion. Although it's thin, its energy density is terrifying. Just the energy level, it's not something Trisolarans can fight against. You must know that although Trisolarans' technological level is very high, it even involves the knowledge of dimensions. However, if they really have other powers against the level fixed star, they won't want to invade the solar system because of the harsh environment of their parent star. I have already cleaned up the fixed star in my own galaxy. The environment of Trisolarans is not suitable for biological survival because of the uncontrollable movement of the fixed star. Only then will their technology stagnate, because there is no time at all and there is no suitable place for them to continue to develop. We really can't stop it. Just as Jang Bihai and Jay were chatting, suddenly, the woman that Soften had transformed appeared out of thin air again. Such sudden behavior startled Jay a lot. FK. 
UF King Meow, can you stop showing up like this every time? Surprise me, anyone who is eating and chatting, suddenly sees a floating woman wearing a kimono in front of her eyes, she can't help but tremble, question mark. Faced with Jay's scolding, Soften was silent for a moment, after a few seconds, she slowly bowed to Jay. I'm sorry sir, next time I show up, I will send you a newsletter application in advance. Soften's attitude made Jang Bihai's pupils shrink involuntarily. Just a simple bow. But a very important message was delivered. That is, Trisolarans are starting to give in. Exclamation mark. At this moment, the entire expert group of the coalition government boiled instantly, especially those high-level people, everyone stood up unanimously. Some people's eye sockets are even moist. Three-body people. They, their attitude, changed. Ah. This is a day worth remembering. No one knows, after human beings know the existence of Trisolarans and the coming of invaders. What a stress! Exclamation mark. Almost every moment, countless people are suffering from inner torment. Even before that, Trisolarans' attitude towards human beings was to ignore status. It seems to tell everyone, I am here, I conquer, you just wait for death. Now, Trisolarans because of a scolding. He lowered his proud head. Exclamation mark. Tell me in advance next time you show up. Simple words, simple bow but it caused huge amounts of role swapping between humans and Trisolarans. They are scared. This is the first time human beings have felt hope. No, it should be said that human beings have never lost hope, but the hope they once had was nothing but self-deception of human beings. It's just a kind of spirit, and the spirit of not giving up is supporting them to resist. Because, the more highly educated and knowledgeable people are, the more they understand the technological gap between the Trisolarans and the coalition government but they just selectively ignore this gap and are fighting for human beings. Just like countless pioneers, like the dragon in the east was facing the invaders. Truth is always within the range of a cannon. Suddenly, someone said a word. This was once the speech of a great man, and it is very suitable for this occasion. The moment Jay pressed the shooting button, Trisolaran felt the truth of human beings. The truth, let the Trisolarans bow their heads, let them no longer be arrogant and can't ignore the existence of human beings. Chapter 25 Trisolarans Compensation We formally request dot 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 an interview with the man in black. We hope to sit down with you face to face and have a good chat. Soften's attitude at this moment is completely different from that when he clamored to declare war with the man in black without saying a word. She bowed her head and looked extremely sincere. Words are also full of requests, chat and other words. Even Jay, who has a big nerve, can feel the humbleness of the Trisolarans at this moment. It made him feel proud. The change in Trisolaran's attitude is definitely due to the half hour he fired the small pistol before. I have to think about this. But, if you really want to have an interview, isn't your level not enough? Jay couldn't help feeling a little headache. After all, he was just a rookie detective who had just entered the industry, and he didn't feel that he could really make any decisions. However, the boss is so busy, will he really come over in person? Can you send someone to our headquarters to talk? Jay felt that it would be much better if he could bring a Trisolaran representative back with him. Dot 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 it's not impossible. It's just dot 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 the fastest we can come to the solar system is 300 years. Tomoko was a little helpless. The reason why Soften was able to come here so long before the Trisolaran fleet was because it was just a modified proton. After two-dimensional particleization, it can move at the speed of light. This has almost reached the fastest speed their technology can move. After all, even their top warships can only sail at one-tenth of the speed of light. 300 years. Jay called out my good guy. I've begged for death in 300 years, right? However, when things got to this point, the Trisolarans were even more anxious. It doesn't take 300 years, but only 4 years. When the bullets of the small pistol fly to the Trisolaran galaxy, the Trisolaran civilization can also be declared to be over. Therefore, they must reach a settlement with a man in black within 4 years, and find a way to make the men in black take back their magic. On the side, Jang Bihai saw through this point, coughed a bit, and interrupted. I think we are not in a hurry, so we can wait for 300 years, and we can talk when your people arrive. Jang Bihai smiled. It was a smile from the heart. You also have today, Tomoko. Behind Soften stood the remote control Trisolaran. They can control the speech of the Soften through the synchronization of the quantum entangled state of the Soften. Hearing Jiang Bihai's words, Trisolaran became a little anxious. They knew that if they didn't do something, they wouldn't know whether the men in black agreed or not. Anyway, the coalition government will definitely trip them up. To show our sincerity, we have removed most of the Sofens that were placed in the solar system. There is only one left which is me now. Moreover, what we can guarantee is that Soften will not interfere with any human affairs, and will lift the technological blockade and monitoring of human beings. This Soften will only be left as a means of communication with us. Hearing Trisolaran's words, Jang Bihai's pupils shrank. This is undoubtedly exciting news! Exclamation mark. Trisolarans lifted Soften's technological blockade and monitoring of human beings! Exclamation mark. Doesn't that mean? The basic science of mankind will usher in a breakthrough! Question mark. At this moment, 
The expert group also boiled instantly. Really? Trisolaran unblocked. You will know if you try it? Trisolarans should not lie. They are a race that cannot tell lies. Hurry up and notify the Earth. Let them do experiments. Verify that Sofen's blockade is lifted. At the same time, the highest ranking leader of the expert group silently spoke into the microphone. Jang Bihai, at a time like this, you know what to do and seize the opportunity. Hear the leader's words in the headset. Countless thoughts flooded Jang Bihai's mind. Being selected as a representative to contact the man in black proves that Jang Bihai's thinking ability and knowledge reserve are not for nothing. He has never lost to anyone if not because his family is a military family. With his ability, he can become a master even if he enters any scientific research institute. Therefore, after almost ten seconds of thinking, he understood the meaning of leadership. So, he silently looked at Tomoko. Sofen only felt that Jang Bihai's eyes were full of aggression. We don't know whether what you said is true or not. You said you evacuated and then evacuated? We can't monitor Sofen. Jang Bihai's words made Jay on the side nod constantly. That's it, Sofen. Our three-body world will never lie. When we say we are withdrawing, we are really withdrawing. You should know this. When Jiang Bihai heard this, he began to play dumb. We don't know. Human beings have always understood a concept that only what is in their own hands is real. So, if you want us to believe it, unless the Sofen manufacturing technology and the Sofen control technology are disclosed to us and the men in black organization. The opportunity was in front of him. How could Jiang Bihai let it go? The more anxious the Trisolarans are, the happier they are. Hearing such alliance speak loudly, Timoko fell silent again. The three body executives started a frenzied discussion. They want Sofen's technology. This cannot be given. Sofen is knowledge related to dimensions. Once humans master it, their technological level will usher in a big explosion. It only takes 50 years. No. In 30 years, they will have the ability to fight us head on, plus their civilization potential that develops far faster than ours. We will never have the possibility of winning. A Trisolaran leader strongly expressed his attitude. Such high end technical knowledge cannot be taught to humans. However, his speech was soon completely blocked by one sentence, our war has been lost. At this moment, the high-level members of the Trisolarans couldn't hold back anymore. After the truth was exposed, they discovered this desperate answer. With all the advantages, they lost so inexplicably! Exclamation mark. So, this is actually compensation, a certain Trisolaran leader said bitterly. It took us hundreds of thousands of years to develop from zero to have the dimensional technology to manufacture softens. Just send it out like this. We can only agree to their request. If we don't reach a settlement with the man in black, we don't have much left. After all, a pistol can destroy our galaxy. Maybe they have other means to destroy our fleet. We can't even make starship wandering civilization. We can't use that thing. Our guards are still in our hands. That matter can only be used when we have a specific interview. For technology and survival, we need to use this matter at a critical time. Okay, then, promise them. If you like this audiobook, Subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.